here we are. We might be drunk. It is summertime, and it's, it's hot. It, this weather is making me fucking sad. Oh, I hate it. It gets my blood boiling. <laughs> it's fucking rough. Yeah, I get angry. I get tense. People are bumping into you. You, you have to shower eight times a day. You're washing clothes. You know me. I don't like to wash clothing. Uh, I hate it. Hate I, it. I don't, I don't have washer dryer in the unit. Oh, yeah. I do. You know what I'll do? During the day, I don't mind it, but then at night, that walk home at night, you're like, it's you're still doing it? What, it's still hot? It's still hot. Yeah, I know, I know. The cool, the night should be cool. Yeah. yeah. You don't have washer and unit in that castle? Nah, I'm building. It's in the building. Oh, it's in the building. All right. They don't allow it in unit. All right. That's pretty damn good, though. Yeah, it's, it's, it works. Yeah. I, I do drop off sometimes. Do you? Yeah. I, uh. it's, I'm new. That's very new to me, but yeah, sometimes. Oh, wow. Or, or, or push it on the lady. Fluff and fold is pretty nice. Fluff and fold. Those, those well, Asians. I'll tell you, fluffers are rich. You know? <laughs> They're fluffers. I had a rough travel weekend. Not as bad as our buddy Matt Peters here, but both coming from Florida. You, you, are you Mike? Yeah. Yo, you, you drove from Florida. Yeah. Wow. You were in Orlando? Yeah, Orlando. We had an 11 o'clock flight on Saturday. Delta? JetBlue. Okay. 11 a.m.? 11 a.m. It got canceled. They rebooked us on another flight that was leaving at 8 p.m. Oh, that got that's delayed, horrible. delayed, delayed, delayed. Ah, twelve thirty. Then they canceled it. Then we went to three hotels to find a front of place to sleep. Jeez. They, they, they just wouldn't let you in any of them. Wait, so you didn't try ahead of time? You just showed up at the hotel? I called, and they were like, "We have five rooms, but they're first come, first serve." First come, first serve. What is this? Fucking nineteen ninety two? It was nuts. We go to the hotel, and they're like, "Oh, they're gone." Whoa! So then I go to another hotel. I get there. They're gone. Wow. Third hotel, finally get a room. This, By the way, this is like how you get hooked on like fentanyl. Uh, right. <laughs> it's like downtown Orlando. It's like garbage. Ugh, yuck. Finally find a hotel. That we sleep for like four hours, get up, get a rental car, and then just drive. Wow. All day. But there's something freeing once you just once you just accept the hell, and you're like, we're, it, we're, we're no longer beholden to these fucking airlines. That's true. But my, my story's not going to sound nearly as bad as yours now, now that you just said that. But you're still together with because that's divorce territory <laughs> right there. I mean, that is hell on earth. It was close. We had some moments because it was like... Really? <laughs> so how was the... Uh, the Did the JetBlue cover it? No, they didn't. They gave us a refund, but they didn't give us anything. Because they were saying it's weather-related. It's, oh. it's bullshit, though, because it wasn't really weather-related. Like, I mean, at least in New York, like, we took off, but then we circled... There were flights leaving to New York. Dude, we, so we, I didn't have it as bad as you at all. I mean, you were texting us and we were like, I was like, this is fucking bad. Yeah. My, but my buddy uh, was supposed to come to the show on Friday and he's like, I'm taking a flight out because I don't trust this shit. And he got out. Wow. But once he said that, I saw the weather, dude. Get, you know, I'm with, on the road with Gary Veter. He's like, I want to go to Joe's Stone Crab. Ah! And I was just like, <laughs> let's see, uh, let's do it. I, I caved. I was like, fuck it. Little Gary wants St- Joe Stone Crab. Little Gary gets Joe S- Stone I Crab. I picture him throwing his hat down and jumping <laughs> on it. He gets what he wants. He's a he gets what he wants. He's like the kid in uh, a League of Their Own. You know, the fact he was running up and down the bus <laughs> hitting people. Still well. Dude, he, so we're going to go. And then it's like raining to the point that I was like, dude, do you really want to do this? He's like, nah, fuck this. So even Gary caved on that. Mm. Then the next morning we wake up. And like I had a lot of, I had like probably six Manhattans the night before, so I was like kind of uh, the first delay. I'm like, well, four hours, I, I'm fine with that. I'll sleep in. You yeah, know? I'm I'm kind of grateful even sure, for the delay. Sure. Fuck it. But then we get it's delayed another hour. We get there, so it's now a five hour delay. We're working with we're at the airport. <laughs> it's a mess. It's like there's by the way there's like a a flight attendant in the in the uh, lobby my girlfriend says hi do she's like where are you flying and she just like gives her a dirty look i'm like oof, this woman's in a mood whoa would you would you believe she's our flight attendant oh, on the flight oh man we used to have to worry about terrorists now they're on the plane <laughs> by These the way flight attendants are- I, I was thinking about that because we're in the air we're just fucking circling ah. we, we finally take off it's like five hours late we take off we start circling i'm watching a movie I'm watching Challengers. My girlfriend keeps tapping me. She's like, she's like, why does it say two hours now instead of one twenty? I'm like, I'm watching a movie. I'm watching uh, a movie. And then I was like, wait, what? Two hours? Yeah, that's longer than an hour twenty. I'm doing the math. Then she goes, uh, she goes, now it says Dully's Airport, whatever uh, in Virginia. I was like, wait, what? And by the way, there's a woman in our. Row. I know, I know. And there's a woman in our row who's batshit crazy and won't shut the fuck up. 
she just keeps going like like she's just nonstop talking. She's screaming. She's out of her. She's an old lady who's out of her fucking mind. She's pissed drunk. <laughs> She orders a, I, I shoot you not, a champagne triple. She goes, give me a triple. I'm like, wow. that's not a thing. Wow. You can, get a, you can get like a triple of scotch. You don't yeah. get a triple. That's three drinks. How long is that flute? You know? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. So I'm just like, you're an idiot. You're a trash bag drunk. So, <laughs> so, trash bag drunk. So we just keep circling. And and the, and I'm looking. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, oh, yeah, the moment of the movie is entertaining. It's whatever, you know. I, I'm like fuck it, give me a drink. So I start drinking again. I'm drinking off this hangover with a little whiskey sodas, and uh, Hell of a I, quadruple. <laughs> <laughs> we land, and uh, the woman's nuts. She just keeps screaming, oh. and, like, and they go, they landed due to weather stuff. And she goes, they're lying to you. I'm like, oh my god, Jesus. she's yelling. They're lying. I'm like, yeah, it's all a big conspiracy, miss. Uh, <laughs> and you control it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know. The weather, I'm looking at the weather in New York, it's fine. So I am like, maybe there's fucking old bags, right? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but they're like, we have to refuel now in, in Virginia. So I'm just like, refuel. Ah. That's at least 30 minutes in my head. Plus, they're at not going to do it immediately. No. In my head, I'm like, we're looking at least an hour. At least. We're landing in JFK. That's like an hour and a half from home. So I'm kind of like, we're looking at two and a half hours. So my girlfriend's freaking out. I got Winnie on my lap. And she goes, she goes, I need to get off this plane. I don't want to do this. And I was like, what do you want to do? Rent a car? And she goes, yeah. And I was like, all right, let's Whoa. do it. Whoa! Controlling your own fate. At a certain point, so then Gary goes, uh, "I'm gonna take my chance on the flight." I go, "Respect, that's fine. Do we got to do? You got kids to get back to. I get it." And this is Dulles. Where's that? Yeah, we're in Virginia. Virginia, got so it. So we get on the car. We get in a rental car. Uh, <laughs> Uh, some guy, I'm, this is how fucking drunk and out of it I am at this point. Some guy on the air tram, we're trying to get to the to the budget rent-a-car yeah. thing. She got a car. S some guy goes, you look a lot like a comedian. I go, oh, yeah? And he goes, are you that comedian? I go, oh, yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, he goes, uh, how are you, bad travel day? I'm like, these fucking people. And she hits me. I see he's got three kids with him. Uh. <laughs> and it, his wife goes, no, it's okay. Like, it's that bad a day for everybody. She goes, yeah. no, it's okay. Right. So she gave me, like, the green light, the curse. I was like, all right. And uh, we. it turns out he worked with my uncle or something uh. in Baltimore. Wow. And just got back from, like, Italy or something. Wait, mm. your uncle the photographer? Elmore? No, that's, that's biological family. My uncle, uh, the doctor. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know. La-di-da. So, La-di-da. <laughs> Good guy. I'll see him in Baltimore very soon. And uh, recovering from a stroke. Love you, Uncle Rob. Robbie. Still drinking, baby. Yeah. Still going strong. Called about Bodega Cat. Loving the Bodega Cat. <laughs> so we get to the uh, we get to the budget rent a car, and you know the lines at the fucking door. It's insane. It's of like an course. hour wait just to get because everyone's trying to get out of there. Yeah. I mean, look, we had nothing compared to you guys. Compared to other people, they were like, we're lucky. So it's one of those things where we're just like, all right, wait in the line. Then Gary goes, he texts me, they're still not taking off. Whoa. It's been like an hour. He goes, I'm rolling with you. Whoa. I go, I go come hop on that fucking shuttle. Meet me at the rental car. He goes there. He meets us there. It's been a while. We're still waiting for the car. Wow. Finally, uh, you know, this little this little mutt's running around pissing and shitting outside the rental car thing. <laughs> And <laughs> getting anxiety just here. Oh, this. dude. So then we, we get the car. Well, it like, feels so good. You just hit the music. You're off on the road. Little Vita set up his Bluetooth. He's DJing. <laughs> he's on the dash like a Hawaiian guy. He just yeah. he's like a bobblehead. <laughs> My girlfriend's like, what are you guys? 90 every song. Gary's like twist in the night away. You know, we're cruising. <laughs> and Gary's monitoring the plane. The second we take off in the car, he goes, they took off. Oh! <laughs> but it was like you know at that point we're like we made peace with it we're controlling our own fate yeah. how many hours of drive is that we got in at like 2 a.m probably okay but you know what five hour drive yeah That's and we stopped terrible. we got mcdonald's she was going fucking nuts no jokes <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said hey i bought you dinner buddy that's all i can say <laughs> no we got mcdonald's really fucking i hadn't had in a while man the nuggets hold up i got a mcchicken too stunk oh. Stunk. It's no, all bad. It's all bad. The nuggets are good, though. The, the nuggets still and, work. I got to say, the fries are just like, they're just so good. I don't love them. I love those McDonald's fries. People love them. I'm you don't love them? I don't love them. It's like cardboard. They're soggy. There's nothing going on there. Yeah. I'll take a Rally's fry any day. I'll take a Wendy's fry. Really? But not yeah. McDonald's. Not McDonald's. They're just skinny and stick. I don't know. Yeah. Not for me. But my nugget. Give me a Polynesian sauce or a honey must or a BBQ. How about sweet and sour? Same thing as Polynesian. Oh, is it? I think. Mm. Yeah. It's all Polynesian. It's all sweet 
Oh, that's Chick Fil A, I think. Okay. Yeah, I like a little barbecue too. Oh yeah. Ooh, I went. Yeah, we went to. I had a fucking Oreo McFlurry. I feel like I fucking hate wow. myself. Who gives a shit? I didn't order it. She ordered it. Took one bite and goes, "I'm done." I go, "You fucking bitch!" I just fucking <laughs> shoveled it in my mouth. Uh, like, what you think I have willpower? <laughs> you didn't need stone crab, but you're a little crabby. <laughs> <laughs> we got in late. <laughs> It was, it was, but at that point it becomes an adventure and you're kind of like, as much as this day sucks, you're like, at least you're fucking, at least you get home. It's a John Hughes film at the end of the day. It's a comedy of errors. You know, you made it work. Yeah. Damn. But those, those travel, I mean, you had the rough one. That's rough. That's rough, dude. 20, 20 hours? We did four hours. Each person drove four hours. Oof. So it was only eight hours? No, no we, we, hours. we dropped off. It was 15. 15 hours straight. No nap. No nap. Oh, I napped when she was driving. She napped when I was. Wow. 15 hours doesn't seem that bad for Orlando for some reason. No. That's bad. I mean, it's bad, but it, it seems like to Florida. Yeah, it does seem longer. You just hug that coast, I, I assume. Yeah. Damn, that's wild. Yeah, I had the thing about the flight delay is you go, you get to the airport, your flight's at 11, you go, ah, oh, they're delayed an hour, motherfucker. Then they get delayed four hours, you're like, I would kill for an hour delay. <laughs> it's funny how you just keep going back, oh, I'd kill for a five hour delay because it keeps going. I did a Sunday, Minneapolis, I had a gig in Rock, Rochester, Minnesota, where the Mayo Clinic is. Mm. Rochester, Minnesota, real dive, real shithole. So that night, me and the opener drove back to Minneapolis. I'm like, I'm going to be a good traveler. I'm driving back to Minneapolis. It's an hour and a half. I'm going to fly out of the Minneapolis airport so I don't have to connect in Rochester anymore. Direct flight, eight-hour delay. Oof. I must have eaten so much lounge food. Thank God for the lounge. Thank God for the lounge. Yeah, but the, you know, sometimes you don't have lounge access either. You're just That's you're, true. You're just, and, and when it's overrun with people... At the airport when it's bad, it's fucking bad. Dude. It's bad. It's bad. And the line around the block for the help desk, and then everybody's on the phone. It's like, boop, boop. You have an eight-hour wait on the phone for a, a talking person. What do you call Representative. Well, you can tell how bad it's getting because when there's like a two-hour delay, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be productive. I'm going to work. I'm yeah. going to drink some coffee. <laughs> yeah. Then it's like three or four hours. You're like, I'm getting fucking hammered. Yes. I there's know. a shift. There's a shift. And your, your, uh, your bar goes down on your phone, too. You're like... Ah, fucking! I'll watch this two-hour QAnon documentary. <laughs> I'm like, well, how did I get here, dude? You know what, Doc? I just watched it so good. Have you seen the Pete Rose doc on no. Max? It's good. Dude. I hear it's great. I, have you guys, Matt? You seen it? I he's a wild trailer. dude, dude. It, he's kind of a piece of shit, but he's so fascinating. He's like a caveman with a gambling problem. Yeah, mm. he should be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I mean, he's out. They just won't let him in. But uh, cause he's but he bet on his own team at least. Yeah, true. Like true. I don't. I don't. Am I crazy? I mean, I guess it's fucked up when you're managing them because he was also managing them, so you can make weird subs. But like, you're betting on your team to win. If you bet against your team, you're a fucking monster, obviously. Right. But, you but bet if you bet on your team, you could rest closers for the next day. There's things you I can hear do. that. Yeah, I hear that. But aren't most coaches always trying to win? True. True, true, true. I mean, I guess it's a little reckless, but like, I don't think it's banned for life from baseball reckless. But on days you're not betting on your team, you're technically betting against your team. You're telling every bookie, bet against us. But there is a part of the doc, I'm not giving anything away, but there's a part where he's like, I'd be better off in baseball if I was an alcoholic, uh, a drug addict, or I beat my wife. Oh, shit. And he's like, I didn't do any of those. And, you mm. know, uh, Ty Cobb beat his wife. He's he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, good Ty point. Cobb was, like, trying to cleat people. It's it's crazy. But uh, Didn't he bang a minor? He did something. He crazy. did. That was bad. That's okay. If you want to fucking... <laughs> I like that he's like, I wasn't an alcoholic. I'm like, he did fucking underage shit. Yeah. There was a 16-year-old woman, which he said was the legal age. That was... Woman, because that was the legal age in Cincinnati. Oh. But also, if you know that, you're kind of a piece <laughs> of shit. Right? <laughs> right, right. Like, so he was like... Yeah, she was 16, but then she claims they did it before 16, and there's like grooming stuff. Look, just fucking a 16 year old is disgusting. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, he's a he's an odd guy. My thing is like, I read a quote. There's this guy because I was looking. At, I was at the airport for a long time, so I'm reading the back. I hit the book, and I'm reading the quotes. And that guy Jeff Perlman, who wrote a bunch of great stuff, did the Showtime book. Was like. I hate Pete Rose. I think he's a terrible person. But after reading this book, I realized he is one of the most fascinating people. Whoa. Like you just can't tell the story of baseball. That means he's a hit king, dude. Is he really? Yeah, he has the most hits. 4,256, I think. That's Something crazy. Right. Wow. 
But that's like, dude, you make you get three thousand hits. It's insane. Hall of Fame, right? You're in the Hall of Fame for three. Wow. I mean, you're in the Hall of Fame with less often, but three thousand, you're like you have to be in basically. Yeah. He had over 4,200 hits. 4,256. Wow. What That's crazy. HBO? Where can I find Yeah, this? it's Max. It's oh, good. It's good a good wreck. one, dude. It's You'll love it. It's, I it's, can't wait. You love these ones. Yeah. Like sports. He was like, you could hit. I saw an interview with him recently. He was like, you could play for 20 years straight, get 200 hits a year, which is like peak performance, and still be 500 hits shy of my record. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> what is it with talented people that are sociopathic or something? You know, you always hear about these guys who are all fucked up and nuts and fucking 16-year-olds, but can't deny the talent. Yeah. yeah, I think you just sort of like, I don't give a shit. I think I think a lot of people overthink stuff, and a guy like this is like, I'm. you're not using this. You, you, there's a part of your brain you're not using. Yeah. You're not like, should I do this? You're just like, no, I'm doing this. Mm. His nickname was Charlie Hustle. It was like mm. sarcastically given it to him. I think it was Whitey Ford and Mickey Mantle were, Mickey Mantle, were mocking him. Wow. They go, oh, check out Charlie Hustle here because he was like hustling for every play that didn't matter. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it was given given to him sarcastically, but he took it as like a compliment. Uh-huh. And he ran with it, and that's why everyone called him Charlie Hustle. Uh-huh. And he was like a fucking psycho, just hustle for every play. And that's it is intimidating. You're li- there's cl- you know clips of him taking out the catcher, just yeah. running him over. Wow. I mean, look at that. That's like a violent dive right there. Yeah, it's iconic. Wow, I can't wait to watch. It's cool, man. It was a good one. All right, I'm on. I'm on it. I watched the Paul Simon doc. Good. Snooze Fest. I love Paul Simon, and I love Gibney, the guy who directed it, Alex Gibney, who did Going Clear and all the other great ones. Oh, that was a great one. I just rewatched that again. Unbelievable. Yeah, so good. Tom Cruise really skated that. He did not look great in that. No. Need the Travolta for being uh, nah. full to uh, disclose, but yeah, uh, Paul Simon Borango. It was a uh, Elon Musk boring company. That's what I'm calling it. Brutal. Damn. All right. What what was that on? HBO, I believe. Yeah, I couldn't get there. I won't watch. Only See, five minutes in. Not everything warrants a doc is the thing. Agreed. There's so many docs now. However, Dirty Pop about the uh what's that guy's name who started the in sync and i know you're the the fat guy with the glasses him. yeah it's pretty good yeah i jerked off to it yeah. no i i better than finger pop that's what they call the nickelodeon one <laughs> dude uh you know what else pop you know i you know what I, by the way we started years ago being there at your place, the Peter Sellers. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's great. Did you finish it? I finished it. Hey, how'd you like it? I loved it. I love that. It's incredible. Yeah. Brilliant movie. The message in that is brilliant. Like, hey, it's all people will manufacture anything and they'll put their shit on you. And as long as you just sit there. That's, that's a Salacuse uh, wreck right there. Yeah, yeah, right. This would be a great Chris Farley role oh. if he was still here. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, this guy's just in hog heaven. He's surrounded by a couple of preteen pubescents. Damn. Living the dream. Yeah, I was like, I don't care. We started the Nickelback doc the other night, so I was like, yeah, it's just there. It's on. I watched part of it too. And I was like, I don't care. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't, I'm not one of those people that's like, fuck Nickelback. I don't, I just don't care. Like, I, I was watching, I was like, why? Yeah, same. Well, they were huge. They were like the number one oh, band. Huge. And then the whole world 180'd on them. Isn't that funny how that worked? Like the the uh, the zeitgeist is so fascinating. We love this band. Holy shit! Platinum records, a million sold out arenas. You know what? This band sucks. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, they suck. Fuck them. It's almost like people are like, well, they're not that good. Yeah. And then right. you, and then you hold that against them or something. Yes. But I just didn't think it warranted like an actual movie. It seems That's... to be happening in Justin Timberlake now. Like, oh, is that yeah, right? Yeah, he can't do right at all. He used to be beloved. That's just like, him driving. Can't go right. <laughs> And now, like, people are really coming for him. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't even know that. It's because he had, like, two allegations, like, back-to-back that Janet Jackson doc dropped where he looked bad, like, ripping her shirt open. Uh-huh. And then Britney Spears put out a book saying, like, he forced me to have an abortion in the Mickey Mouse days. And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah. Damn. We're done with this guy. Well, I got to say, after seeing her with the knives. Yeah. <laughs> Might have been the right choice. Yeah. <laughs> I think he might have been a hero looking back. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what you want when you're getting your kid circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> and Ihana. Yeah. yeah. It was, uh, he, he was fucking, uh, he came off real bad though for a while. You're yeah. Right. And then people just turn on you. Oh, yeah. It seems like zero celebrities have a perfect record. You know, it's almost of course. no one. In, yeah, no, we're human. no humans pitching a perfect game. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And like this guy, you know, got her uh, forced to get an abortion. You're like, all right, everybody's done shit. 
Who cares? Yeah. Get so out of here. Should we be more forgiving? Yes. Okay. We should. Yeah, you don't have to be more accepting, but you got to be more forgiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to. You have to. It's it's insane. Or but also, he's doing you. fine. Yeah. He's doing fine. It, he's it's great. just, you know, maybe he's not selling the tickets he sold twenty years ago, but he's not fucking like. Who cares? He's doing yeah. fine. I heard J Lo's not selling, and my first thought is, all right, it's not just me. You know, <laughs> yeah. isn't that nice when a big giant celebrity can't sell a, a ticket, and you're like, all right, it's hard. She can sell a ticket. She's. I think her bar is like arena tour everywhere that's true so you know yeah but she canceled a bunch of them yeah i'm not gonna say who but there's a huge comic i was talking to the other night and he was like i just keep saying i'm sick because i can't fill up all these places and i was like i didn't know we could do that that's a good move i've just been going to rochester minnesota and playing to a 20 percent sold room and yelling yeah. out to the rafters with oh, no I've, one in it. I've canceled before. Yeah, you have to. Every once in a while, they they put you in a place that you're just like, yeah, this is not fillable for a huge ass. Yeah, I know. What What is that? Oh, I'm doing Duluth, and they put you in like a 3,000-seater. You're like, I know. It's crazy. Every once in a while, you look at that, you're like, what? But then it's that's not on you. That's on your agent, man. I guess so, but I'm like, give me two shows at the 400-seater. Let's start there, and then we'll yeah. just add shows. Yeah, because we don't mind doing more shows. No, I did a club weekend this week. I had a blast. Where were you? I was in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, the Louisville Comedy Club. Oh, is it good? I it's, think I did that a while back. It's a, it's a good room, and it's a good town, and the, the audiences are great, but I was like, this is so nice to, because I've been doing Friday, Saturday theater, you know, one Friday, one Saturday, and then fly home Sunday. This was like, got there Thursday, opened up the suitcase, hung up the shirts in the closet in the shitty hotel, you know, and then like writing in the I hotel. Stayed, I stayed in that shitty hotel. Uh, a loft right on yeah, Main Street. Not good. Not good. And uh, yeah, it was nice to be in a, in a town for three days instead of in and out. You know what I like about any city in Kentucky? It doesn't matter where you go. They got a sweet bourbon selection. Oh, yeah, all day long. You could be in like a fucking random bar and it's like a, it's like 25 pages. Yes, Even yes. the club had some sweet shit. Oh, yeah. I was drinking something that they were like, oh, that's a, a barrel that they uh, they make. It tastes like the ocean because they, they drive it around and it fucking just, it's in the ocean. Wow. So that's why, and, and I was like, holy shit, I smell the ocean. Yeah. You know? Mm. That's called, uh, ah, shit. <laughs> Cut that. Well, what was the name of that submarine that sank? The Titanic? No, no, the the late the latest one. Oh, the one that sank looking for the Titanic? Uh, with the five billionaires yeah. on it? Nah, that would have been a good joke if I could, yeah. could think of the reference. But yeah, <laughs> Angel's Envy, all that shit. Old Forester, it's all Kentucky. Even Bodega Cat. Yeah! A fine, silky, smooth rye whiskey. Yes. What's it called? The, the, the... The Titan submarine implosion. All ah, right, it wouldn't have been great. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the Titan, it didn't have a good ring to it. But you know what's weird about Kentucky is you get off the plane and the airport is full of ads for bourbon. Oh. I'm like, should we be advertising bourbon on the at the airport? You know, just all these pilots are pulling their little wheelie bag like, eh, I'll have one. <laughs> <laughs> you get on the flight, you, you, you know, go right in the Twin Tower. Also, it's not a thing that needs a push in that state. Yes. I don't think anyone's like, what do I drink in Kentucky? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The thing that you're all pushing on me the second I land. But, it's kind of like right. in Vegas. They have slots at the airport. I'm like, oh, yeah. do I need? I just. And they, and then they look and they look great. They look great. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to slot shame. Yeah. But they got the <laughs> slots right here. I'm like, I just pride myself away from the vice and sin of Vegas. And then you put one right at the airport. Come on. Now I lose everything. Every little piece of penny I saved, I'm going to lose it at the airport now. That's the thing. Like, fucking Pete Rose was like, you know, he's broke. Gambling is such a fucking disease. It's horrible. Like, think about how much money you can make in your life. And if you just didn't gamble, that dude. But he's like doing, it's like shows him doing like cameos and stuff or whatever. Doing like 15 hour a day ball signings, you know. Wow. Because he just wants to have some cake, you know, but... Yeah, I mean, same with, uh, you're like, why the hell's Nicolas Cage in Ghost Rider 9? <laughs> oh, he put his... Is he a gambler? Oh, my God, yeah. He, that's why he's done so many... He did, like, a string of bad movies. He had to pay the bills. Damn. What would ruin your life faster, being a gambleaholic or an alcoholic? Which one you hit the nose? Gamble... Type? Well, gambles, I think, more quickly will ruin your life. I guess it depends to the extent, but, like, you know, you gamble, it can, it can be gone like that. Yes. You know? Booze takes a couple couple hours at least but you could get into a drunk driving that's true accident run over a kid kill yourself yeah so but like norm talked about on howard stern he's like i lost 
you know, 650 grand in one hand. And he was like, I had zero money and I had to like go back on the road and figure it out. And yeah, crazy. That's yeah. someone's life savings. 650 grand. I might have upped it, but. But that's nuts. Yeah, but when that happens, crazy. you're like, yeah, I wish I had a few too many drinks. Yeah, yeah. true, the, true. The, the alcohol, like, I, I will say this. I guess both you, like you fuck up a hand you feel like uh, you you get too drunk that hangover is like a punishment but like fucking up a hand like yeah that is like t tangible yeah. you yeah. watch the chips get pulled away oh. yes that is your money oof or your kids money or your yeah. wife's money or your your kids college fund gone oh here it is here's the story i was looking for all right well, oh shit did i way overshoot it no, it hit norms. $60,000. Boy, said, did I overshoot it. This is a different story. Okay. I, it's too long here. I'll just shorten it for you. Uh, oh, our guy's here. Hold on. Basically, he made 60000 and he took it and brought it to the ocean and threw it away. Wow. Thought, I'd rather lose it this way. Wow. Holy hell. We're on. Hey, Dr. Hey, Phil, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, what the hell? Wow, what, a, what an honor. You got pineapple and AIDS tests. <laughs> tests, <laughs> not the actual watermelon. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen a fruit since, uh, well, you sh I feel like you should finish this one. <laughs> <laughs> since the something, something night. gay. Yeah, since the bar last night. Wow, you smell great. You look sharp. It's an aqua, uh, uh, aqua, no, Carla de Gurgur. What's a girl from, uh, she was a judge on America's... Uh, yeah, next best uh, dance, Carla de Gregor. Can you look it up for me, Jamie? Mm, it's uh, a migrant, I know. Carla de. I get Aqua Digio and, and this bitch mixed up all the time. Here it is. They laid it on thick there, Phil. Well, I got a Persian friend that showed me how to do it. <laughs> you know, they bathe in cologne. Oh, they love Tommy Hilfiger, right. Polo Sport. Oh, yeah, cool water. Cool water. That's. That was the first cologne I remember my son uh, was wearing when he first uh, fingered a girl. Really? Wow. Which was about a couple hours ago. Well, and a uh, scent after that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't want to put a uh, cologne. You don't want to go inside of it uh, when you've got your finger. There she is. That'll burn. It burns. So does loneliness, though. That's so. true. Well, we've all we've all been through a lonely time. I got some gifts. Speaking of being lonely, I got uh, some gifts for you guys. You don't have to do that, Doc. Well, I was told specifically by your producer, Matt, don't come empty-handed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, real Jewy move. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I got a bar mitzvah coming up. I can say that. We got a we'll be, we'll be right back. Wow. Long sleeve, oh, fill amazing. shirt, and we got one for you, Mark. Thanks. And then one for you, Sam. Oh, you can open it yourself. Come on. It. Wow, you're a hell of a doctor. I'll wear this tonight. All right, cool. Thanks. If you don't like it, also, I got a copy of my book, wow. We've Got Issues. Just a, a little promo press tour, but we'll talk about a bunch of stuff. Well, we got you some tequila. If you're, if <sighs> Do you want to have a drink? Oh, I'd love a daytime drink. I'm a big fan of the show, but I'm a bigger fan of daytime drinking with fun people. Hell yeah. And I think that's one of the things you guys bring to the table. It's not just good vibes and good energy, but... Uh, you drink with the right people at the right time. You got that right, what, Fatty. What, what kind of drink do you want? You want a tequila? I'd love a straight tequila. I mean, I'll, I'll suck down some of the Bodega Cat just for uh, sponsor purposes. Thank you. Uh, and I have had it before. It is tasty. Hey! Yeah, big fan. Thanks. You can put that, uh, put my name, put my lips on it. Oh, we have Doctor's it? orders. What is this now? Oh, wait, you want ice or no ice? Let's go ice. I'll use like a fat cube. Where are you from, Doc? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Whoa! You ever been there? I have not, thankfully, but I'm doing a gig there in a month. Let's go. Yeah. So, Are you I'm on this uh, tour now, Mark, where it's like, let's go to all the cities that I forgot about? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, David Tell calls it the Connecting Flights Tour. <laughs> yeah. But you, Bill Hicks calls it the Flying Saucers Tour. Yeah. I'm but thank fucking... <laughs> yeah. Too soon. Let's... Uh, <laughs> but I think there's something to be said about showing up for people when they show up for you, right? Here, here. All these uh, little bags are commenting on your shit on YouTube. Tell me. Might please. as well go see them live and show them what's up. Thank you. You hear that, you queefs? You, Get out there. Yeah, you got See me live. MarkNorman.JeremiahWalkins.com. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, I, that AI. I think yeah, he did. That was funny. Uh... Well, Good to see you guys. Can man. I ask you a Dr. Phil question? You can ask me. Well, I'm an open book. I came on this show. Matt said, bring gifts. He said, be an open book. Bring your own book. Yeah. And leave your uh, right monkey here. pox at home. <laughs> well, you got to meet the cash me outside girl. Oh, yeah. I think you actually put her over. I put her over the top. Uh, oh. The fact that she's on OnlyFans, I feel like I've got a lot to do with. Uh, the money she's made since was all her own hard work and her own doing. Labia. And grinding, yeah. If you show labia, I mean, it's, it's a, look, it's no secret to you or I. You know, yeah. you guys know how to run a business. More you like gash me outside. Yeah. Sorry. 
The ga- I forgot that gash was a was an old term for the vagina. Oh, I let's go through that. them real quick. Thank let's you. let's do a little round robin, and All whoever right. runs out first has to take a shot. Pretty cute. Oh, never. Oh, she's no, she. Yeah, well, there's different shots what of her. Is she but famous for like she a, just she just said cat. She was a real twat to me on uh, oh, on camera. That's right. Yeah. And I she said uh, I said you got some issues going on, but don't sweat. We all do, and I talk about that in my book. We've got issues. You got that right. Uh, we've we're up. We've all. Dude, first of all, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Only see you live on your specials. Same shout out, Amazon Prime, Marky Mark, YouTube, and Netflix. You own yeah. those fucking yeah. websites. Boy, she's cute. She looks like a hot Gaza hostage. Who, this guy? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, catch me outside. Oh, okay, yeah. There she is. Yeah, she definitely, ha- I mean, she looks like an AI rendition of, uh, if somebody was like, give me Ricky Martin as a woman. <laughs> and then AI was like, how's Bad Baby? They both love dick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bad Baby's her name. I, I remember where I was when Ricky Martin came out. Please. Isn't that crazy? I remember where I was on 9-11 and where I was when Ricky Martin came out of the closet. But where for both he? cases, donating blood. For Panera. Me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, too soon. <laughs> All right. Well, wait. Pull up some Cheers. of our OnlyFans. I want to take a quick oh. gash look. Possible to get a straw. Just don't like to get the booze and mustache. Oh, smart, smart. You don't want to ruin that that butthole smell. Yeah, but she <laughs> but she, uh, she went hard in the paint, you know. And again, you show a little bit of skin, it goes a long way. OnlyFans uh, really took advantage of her being like, I don't give a fuck. So, Sam, she came on the show. She said, you know, something, something, blah, blah, fucking I'm a bitch. And then I was like, it feels like it. And then she, something else. I tried to help her. Yep. Always try to help. You got to try to meet them halfway. And yep. and then she said, um, again, something, something. I tune out sometimes. You ever do a podcast and you're just like. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I feel like I set you up for that. She w- walked so Hawk Tua could spit. No. <laughs> I feel Mark, like Hawk Tua so is the next. Hawk Tua uh, is the next bird. bad baby. Yeah, yeah I love Bill nice Maher. Bill Maher talking to Hawk Tua. Oh, oh, like, oh really? You're famous for Hawk Tua? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's a good. It's Bill your Maher. show. You yeah. had her on. Yeah, you had her on. You <laughs> dumbass. Like mad about it. Also, he was talking to her. Thank you so much. Thank you. He was a little. Uh, <laughs> he was starting to get into Harvey Weinstein territory. It was a little flirty. It was a little flirty. She's twenty one, maybe. I don't know. Twenty two, I believe. Yeah, you know, and that's her uh, dad to figure out what's going on after that. But <laughs> but Bill Maher was yeah. Just getting in her, and obviously high as balls. I don't think you want to be a middle-aged man high as balls around a young girl who's known for hawking on cocks. <laughs> and that's the first time I've said that today. <laughs> Can yeah, we a little of what made you made her. I, was, I also just love that she's sure. on like a press tour. Like everywhere I look, it's like the hawk tour girl. Everywhere. I mean, I'll tell you, yeah, we we uh, you know we had her on the she's Dr. Phil. Funny. Like, she's she's not. She's not. She's not bad. She. I like that she's not all about it. I think she seems thrown off, and she's like, yeah, this is kind of new, you yeah. know? People were like, do stand-up. She's like, I don't know. I'm, maybe I'll just live a couple more years. Right, right. Gain some perspective. Yeah, she's super young and grew up super poor. She's like real hardcore white trash. You know how... Yeah, totally. Yeah, I think she's a crack baby. I saw her uh, clip, clip on a Whitney's pot, and Matt Rife called her up, and she said, I'm a crack baby. And yeah. it didn't seem like a joke. It's hot enough outside without having an extra coat of body hair to deal with. Tell me about it. Ashkenazi juice speaking. Clean oh, things up with okay. Manscaped. They've got the ultimate summertime package to get you shaped up. It includes a lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 for ear and nose hair trimming. Gross. Aftershave, ball deodorant, and a pair of comfy boxers. It's everything you need to look great all season long. I mean, look, I have to trim my balls because it's a fucking disgusting forest down there, <laughs> and I want a woman to put her tongue. Right yeah. where, yeah, you want you want to clean the shaft up too, mm. make it look nice. Uh, yep. It's hot, gives your dick a little extra uh, room to work around with. That's you, true. You look better naked. Yeah. If you're looking to really level up, toss the crop mops into your shopping cart too. They're uh, moist towelettes made specifically for your ball sack to keep you cool and clean even on the hottest days. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code DRUNK at manscaped.com. That's Woo. 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code DRUNK. Manscaped, the perfect way to get your patty sizzling hot this summer. Yeah. Mm. No, no, I, I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, you got to give that hook to it. <laughs> on that thing. I love that southern accent. On, Mark? Huh? Does the accent turn you on? I like the uh, southern accent. The accent's accent. fun, yeah. The spin's a little aggressive. My wife Robin's more of a, she licks her hand and, and uh. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I thought we, I thought this was a safe space. Okay, I thought <laughs> we could talk forever, about it. Though, it's like Pete Davidson, everyone knowing he's got a huge cock, because if you see it now, he's got a bit about it. They're going to be like, eh. That's true. Same thing, she sucks a dick now. You're going to be like, 
Yeah, she didn't hock to her. Yeah, good point. Oh, wow, yeah. Whoever hooks up with her next is going to be, uh, the bar has been set, right? Yeah. yeah. Where's Pete these days? Who's he fucking? Uh, I think he's bad a, baby. Bad baby. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if he just went down a whole like, where are they now? You know, people to yeah. fuck. Like he just went through like the whole celebrity rehab and <laughs> and just you know him and Levar Burton end up in a menage a trois. I heard he's with he's Kamala's VP. I think she chose him. Get there. the fuck out! He's got to do the way Tarantino brings back actors. Maybe Pete Davis could be like bring back Pussy. Oh, that's they'll do a great a, idea. Like, I haven't heard about her in a while. And Pete fucks her. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, Andy sure. Cohen to mediate. Hey, come on out, whores. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about yeah. Pete. Yeah, the last time I was with a whore was probably, <laughs> I want to say Reno. You ever go? You guys have oh, performed there. It's whore oh, heaven. It's whore heaven. It's I'm it's a. Uh, and even if they're not whores, they're thinking about it. Oh yeah. Reno's got that. There's something in the water there where everyone's just like, "Fuck it," you know. Yeah. It's, T- it's Tuesday beat. somewhere. Awful. Right. Yeah. I think my opener. I did a casino in Reno. I think my opening line was, uh, "I've never seen fake tits in an oxygen tank on the same person." Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a country song. Not my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough town. It's a real. It's it's sadder than Vegas. It's somehow. A, a totally. lot of meth. A lot of meth. A lot of like weird. Like it's zombies in the street. A lot of like Ninja yeah. Turtle mesh jerseys. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like weird things. You're like, you didn't even get that at Goodwill. Right. You made yeah. that. That's true. Yeah. It's a. It's it's kind of like AC. You ever go to AC or mm. as I say Vegas with AIDS? Atlantic City. Yeah. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. I was, oh yeah. There's a ton of HIV there. But it's one of the. Uh, it's one of the casinos that. You know, they try hard. They want to be like, you know, they want to be like a place where Sting will perform. Right. But he ain't going there. He maybe, ain't going. Maybe, you know, maybe Little Kiss, you know, the, yeah. midget, the midget band. <laughs> maybe you'll see them on a fucking Little Friday Kiss. afternoon. Yeah. Well they're, well, they're very smart because they build a casino in a place where you walk three feet out. You're like, this is terrifying. Yeah. Totally. You could build a casino in Gaza and you'd be like, what's well, better than out there? That's you know? true. Yeah, 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 good point. By the way, Little Kiss. They should have gone with Peck. <laughs> All right. Is that, a, is, that a will, is that a willow joke? <laughs> well, I'm just <laughs> just saying you got little. Oh, kids. oh, a peck. Okay, peck is a little a peck kid. on the cheek. I got yeah, it. Yeah, I was thinking of Mad Mardigan when he called the the dwarves pecks. Oh wow, what a deep. Maybe that's boy. why he did it. Oh, Val Kilmer was like, "You're a peck. You're yeah. a little. You're a little kiss. Yeah, you're a little thimble." You ever see Willow, Sam? I haven't. Oh, all right. Good. Well, that's, it's uh, been Willow fun. Guy, Thanks right? a lot, guys. Yeah. I usually can't hang around people who haven't seen Val Kilmer's finest uh, no. cinematic achievement. Hell of a film. Better than Tombstone? What's that? The pizza? Oh, God. I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look, at, uh, look at us just fake leaving. Nah. <laughs> uh, Willow is, uh, yeah, I mean, this guy. It's a good movie? It's oh, phenomenal. Man. Who is that? Pelosi? Tugs at your hard strings. Oh, funny. <laughs> That's her in about 15 years. <laughs> 15? She's already 91, I think. Yeah. Is she really? No, that's uh, Kathy Bates. Who that's is that? Kathy, no, that's uh, Rachel Ray. Who is that? <laughs> the guy, the little guy. Oh, that's Willow Fish. Ufgood. By the way, right. you can't even have a cool dwarf name. Ufgood is your last name? <laughs> I don't think that's the name. I'd no, rather be named Davis. fucking fart stab. <laughs> Uh, or, or cock ring. Oh yeah, boy! Look at a young Val. Yeah, see Val. Yeah, that's a hot guy. Pre, uh, pre whatever he went through. Yeah, I think throat cancer, much like Michael Douglas. Douglas. Well, but Val got it just from laugh, and and Uh-oh. Michael got it from um, mm-hmm. top eating. shelf. Kathy top sh- Jones Punani. Now is that really? Is that really? Is that? Did he really do that? Did he really get it from that? Apparently. Because that's a great story. It's a weird thing to blame it on. It yeah. is. Oh, he's so, in the hospital. He's like, you did this to me, you fucking bitch. Do you, think, do you think he panicked? Do you think his friends were like, throat cancer? What? We told you to stop smoking. He goes, I was I, was. I don't do it, Michael Douglas. That was an he, RFK? That was, <laughs> yeah. My Douglas RFK are pretty much the same. Yeah. You know how like uh, Johnny Depp and Eddie Vedder are pretty much yeah, the same impression? Yeah, true. Oh, oh, oh. See? Who is that? I can't tell. That's I, uh, Johnny or uh, that's Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see a Shalamoo, Timothy Shalamoo's play. Playing uh, Bob no. Dill. Oh, I thought you were going to say Eddie Vedder. I could see him as Bob Dill. Yeah, it looks great. Sounds great. The, the trailer's fun. God damn. Mm, well, that's the last time I want to look at Michael Douglas. Is yeah, that he, him? He's getting Unfortunately. Old. Yeah, I hate that. That's he's in the his one, 80s, shit. buddy. It's my fa- that's my least favorite part about life, yeah. aging. What's yeah. Your, what about you, Sam? What do you hate the most this, uh, this time of year? Jeez, this fucking weather, man. Oh, it's uh, too hot. You're brutal. struggling, right? Muggy. Yeah, it's a little... I mean, look, I... I definitely had to uh, go in and out of a Nordstrom rack on the way here just to kind of get the veins uh, cooled down. Yeah, that's what uh, I call picked up a belt. What's fucking that? an old person. Yeah. In and out of Nordstrom, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That is, uh, that is one of those things that I forget when I come to the city. I forget. I do like the smells. A lot of people probably shit on uh, the city for the that's smells. I love it. 
I think it adds a little flavor. You know, I live in Los Angeles and Texas uh, part time, and it's a lot of uh, a lot of milfy, cokey vibes. You yeah, know? I like that. But see, with the problem with New York is people shit and piss everywhere, and then the heat brings it out, bakes it. Yeah, it bakes it like your cologne. Yeah, well, okay, well, you just talked yourself out of a coupon for a free uh, bottle of it. <laughs> what sort of cologne do you wear, Mark? I go uh, secret for women. <laughs> strong enough for a man. Yeah. So, Elliot Page. You look more like a Fruity Pebbles guy. Like, you just take the the <laughs> the, the, the milk, the residue, and just kind of oh, rub yeah. it on your tits. I love residue. Favorite yeah. cereal. Don't even think. Oh, you know what it is. Say it. What's my favorite cereal? Uh, it's uh, Crackle Note brand. Wow, that was the biggest power move. Because well, it's his favorite, too. Oh, uh, okay. What are you, a 90-year-old uncle? <laughs> <laughs> Cracklin' Oat Brand. That's what I said. They don't even make that. You have to go on eBay to buy that. Yeah, exactly. And guess what I do? <laughs> I get all my cereals on eBay. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Uh, dude, they haven't even upgraded the box, Sam. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's Look still the that. same font. It looks like slave or uh, KKK <laughs> font. It does. Can you say that? <laughs> and it looks like old turds. In it looks there, like old know, turds. The stage. berries aren't doing anything to disguise the shitty nuggets that I'm staring at. <laughs> well, give me, yeah. well, well, give me your guys' favorite. I like there. Reese's peanut butter. There you go, like a true gay guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> put that peanut butter. Give me the chunky. Give me the peanut butter. Don't put it on the dog. Put it right on me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say this. I'm a big Frosted Flakes guy. Tony the Tiger. <laughs> I've, I've done a lot of <laughs> conferences with a guy that was dressed like him. Oh, they're, they're great. They're, they're, are, they're pretty good. They're not bad. I, don't, I wouldn't say they're great. They're 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 fine. This it's a little boring of a choice, don't you it's think? It's boring. Phil? To me. The Tiger's a good mascot. Cheerios, I'm uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. I'll fuck with. But if you really want to know, if I'm if I t uh, take a couple rips of a Gravity Bong, yep. and watch an Amy Schumer special, I, sure. I I usually go right into, boy, let's say uh, I'm gonna say Fruit Loops or Tricks. Tricks is solid. Fruit Loops is fucking. Don't solid. sleep on Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops are fucking. Yeah, good, dude. And yeah. they hold up, and you can leave them out. You know, for days. Let's say you got a cat, and you know cats, you can leave them alone for a couple of years, right? That's the beauty. You come back, cat's dead, Fruit Loops still live and ticking. <laughs> Not like crackling oat brand or whatever the fuck you're feeding your m m your moles. <laughs> It took me a second there. We'll edit this out. <laughs> now, Fruit Loops are Fruit Loops are slept on for sure. How about Fruity Pebbles, though? Fruity Pebbles. I'll go to town for those. I'll go to bat for those. They get too soggy. and You're eating a paste. I hate that paste. Well, that's you know, you're just eating paste, Mark. I've seen your vlogs. <laughs> it's true. You're a big like... Were you a paste kid as a kid? No, come. What were you? No, uh, yeah. What, were you a, because you both strike me as guys that dared the kid, the fucked up kid, sure. to like lick a slug or eat a fart. Yeah, yeah. Which one was it? I, I was definitely light in farts. You were light in farts. But I didn't want, I didn't want to subject. I, I was, was the one who, I was the one who would be dared to do it. I oh, yeah? Yeah. For the laugh, right? For the laugh. We all, I think, had that in us, right? Yeah. And you know, me more as I've gotten older, early on it was like, I just want to help, but now I want to get the chuckle in, you know? Yeah. It's fun. I see what you guys do. It's, you know, it looks like a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. We, we all had that one guy growing <laughs> up where you're like, I dare you to jump off the roof onto that the first parkour guy, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Totally, yeah. We had a teacher we dared. That was harder to do in New York City. I dared you to jump off that roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just fucking dead. Yeah. No, Unless no, you're Spider-Man or Toby you, McGuire. Not you, Captain. <laughs> yeah. Is that what happened to him? No, his, his daughter. Kid. His, his son. son. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I barely got that out. the energy out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Clapton's Phil, daughter. question. Yeah, go ahead. Did the other Dr. Phil acknowledge you? Oh yeah, wait, wait, yeah. Who? We're, yeah. Oh, we tell, yeah. Okay, wait, we're gonna do that. Phil. Yeah, this is me right now. Like, there's another guy walking around. Sure, there's another guy walking around. Yeah, it's all good. He's yeah. a fan. Yeah, he's a fan. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What about you? Is the other uh, Simpsons comic book guy out there? <laughs> does, he, uh, does he acknowledge that you're uh, that you're the real life version of an animated uh, historical figure? <laughs> no. What's on your porn search right now? Pull it up. Can oh, I guess? Oh, I dare you. I bet it's black babysitter. <laughs> And then you type in like no, some weird toy attached to it. You do have the vibe that you'd be into black chicks. Black, yeah, black yeah. chicks. Yeah. You got the old school New York Italian thing. It's because it's because of De Niro. Yeah, yeah I bet you're like yeah. Pakistani massage or something. Well, you so. got yelled at by a ghetto chick on the subway in like 1988. Of course 1988, he did. Of course and, he did. and your dick cement. never recovered. Your dick yeah. never recovered. It moved two inches, and it was just like, <laughs> damn it. That's right. <laughs> Bitch, give so me that this seat. Doesn't autofill. Pornhub doesn't autofill for me. Yeah, that's sure fine. I was does. just joking anyway. But <laughs> what's going on with Texas? No porn. 
No I porn. Look on my phone. I tried to look some up in the uh, hotel, and I was just like, well, "I guess I'm going analog." Get the fuck yep, out of here. Not great. Uh, Wait, that's real. You can't look at porn. Land of the free. Yeah. My ass. So they start. You have to type in what a pass, or it's or it's just legal. It's you have to download your shit and bring it. Or yeah, what? or get a magazine or a DVD, but. Lobster tube works. What's lobster tube? That's a weirdo that's a, that's a classic one. massage. Sounds like something Rogan came up with. <laughs> He's probably got access to all the sites, right? Oh. I think anything in Texas, they shut down. Him and Ted Cruz, they still got it. Yeah, there's right? lobster. That's Dear God. Yep. You got everything. Yeah. I recognize oh, yeah. most of these gals. I think we've had them on the show or I think we went to middle school with that Go middle one. Search bar and type in Dr. Phil. Let's just uh, see. Let's just Dr. see. Phil hey, this is a fun game called Let's Just See. You never know. <laughs> never know. All right, this is all just a just, just a couple doctor. doctors, yeah, yeah, and a guy named Phil. <laughs> yeah. All right. Speaking of huge hogs, uh, uh, being back in New York is getting me fired up. We actually, uh, and I want to uh, mention this before we get too fucked up, uh, doing some live theater dates with the show. Whoa! Be- Beacon Theater, November fifteenth. I know you guys have fucked with that. Yeah, that's so Beacon's just a beauty. Trying to follow in your footsteps, and then Hell we got yeah. the the Miller in Philly on October twenty fifth, Capital One Hall in DC on the twenty sixth, Celebrity Theater in AZ on December. 6th. Damn. And then the Sa- San Diego Civic Center on December 7th. These are big rooms uh, there. Huge that. rooms. Maybe too big. DC's already about sold out, so that's wow. cool. DC's a great one. Yeah. The Capital One Hall, you been there? The oh, I thought, I thought said Warner. I did the Warner last. The Warner's cool, too. They uh, they told us Tyson's Virginia was where all the... Uh, that's all the fats, action. all the fatties were. Shane shut us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But Beacon should be great. I, I've I've seen a lot of fun stuff there. Um, that's gonna, November fifteenth. All the tickets at adamraycomedy.com. Amazing. You're gonna need some big space to fill. Uh, if Oprah shows up, she is a holy hefty, shit. Well, we're trying. The black lady. She's she's a big one. She goes back and forth, but we all fluctuate. You, you know, see, flux. I mean, don't don't say it too many times because Salakus might get wood. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. She, she flux good. I hear. Yeah. She does. She does. She's <laughs> got. Uh, she's got. Uh, yeah. There's that Jewy guy. He's you know. There's a few comedians I try to really uh, support in their oh, up yeah. and up. You know, looking hunky there. Sta- Stavros, uh, this fucking Jew, and then um, uh, what's her name? Deborah Giovini. Sure. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Funny. She's funny. Yeah. Uh, and then you guys, of course, have been following you guys since the uh, guy code days. <laughs> 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 Deep cut. But anyway, uh, check out. And then Adam Ray's got a special. I can subscribe on YouTube. Ooh, uh, is that on CISO? Check, CISO, CISO Tubi. Oh yeah. You think Tubi will ever get back in the game? Jeremy Tubi. They're in the game. They are in the game. But, but it's it's can, a weird game. It is weird. Can I tell you a quick yeah. Tubi story? Please. Wow. So I'm on a deep dive, right? Uh, in Texas, no porn. Uh, yeah, right. And uh, Rogan wouldn't return my text. Yep. So I said, well, what the fuck do I do? You know, go to Tony Hinchcliffe's uh, house and sit in his hot tub, you know? <laughs> Uh, he didn't have it yet, so so I said I'm gonna pull up Tubi and uh, and just you know, bounce around and scroll. I scrolled for about 20 minutes, Sam, before I locked in on a Michael Jackson movie that was on Lifetime. But Tubi bought it, of course, ah. and it was oh, through yeah. the eyes of the security guard. And the guy who played Michael Jackson, I think, was an Asian guy. Don't cancel me, but he every other scene had a different voice and accent. First scene, he was like. You know, I just don't know if I can go on tonight. <laughs> Next scene, he was like, I'm fucking hungry. And you're like, who is this guy? Yeah. And what'd you do with Daniel Day-Lewis? You know? <laughs> but the movie was fucking dog shit, but I watched it all. You was know? it about his childhood? Yeah. I think I saw that too. A little bit of the childhood, but also a little bit of like what was going on. You know, when he went to like a mall in Vegas, remember and he'd buy like Celine Dion's vocal cords or, uh, right, you know, right. uh, Jeremy Renner's, you know, butt plug. You know, yeah. remember he always like spend millions on yes, like weird vases yes. and, and, and art, you know. Coco the monkey. Coco, had a, he bought the monkey. A, a fucking, uh, what do you call those things? Roller coasters. The roller coasters, yeah. That kind of money, you're just Here he is, at yeah. Eye that's weird. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you lose taste and you go, for weird yeah uh, and that's what this store is <laughs> sorry i had a mac and cheese portable on the way over here <laughs> i think uh the rock owns a like a piece of a t-rex well yeah you got to if you're the rock yeah so oh wow remember these years i what's, own the rock the, the movie on dvd <laughs> go ahead oh, sam welcome what's the rock. weirdest thing that, you, that you've used for your money dr phil I probably uh, I rented out a small space uh, in West Hollywood, like a little uh, one act theater space, and we uh, did a, an act out, a, a kind of a stage reading of that Sean Connery uh, clip where he told Barbara Walters, "You can hit women." Mm. We just did like a stage reading of that. We had a bunch of celebrities come through. We had Breck and Meyer from Garfield. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. We had uh, Richard Kind, yeah. oh, uh, who's been in everything, right? Uh, Bugs Life, I think. And then we had uh, a guy who knew Sean Connery. 
And then we had uh, who else? Candace Cameron uh, Bure. Oh, who wow. apparently hates trans people. Is that right? she? Uh, don't quote me on that, but I, I read something that said like you know, Full House ain't so full if you're at, at Candace's Thanksgiving. Well, you she's know. a big uh, religious. big it. You no, just stop oh, there. She's yeah. a big it. That's what it is. She's yeah. a big it. Yeah. DJ Tanner. She, well, her and Kirk Cameron. You ever see that Piers Morgan? I think I don't watch Piers Morgan anymore because you know I got Tubi. But uh, Piers Morgan <laughs> did this whole interview where he was like. Kirk Cameron, what's up with gays? I, for, I forget how he phrased yeah. the question, but Kirk Cameron had said something about like, yeah, it's man and a woman time. It's not right. man and man time. That's fucking gross. And there he is. Boom. God, you're good, James. First name again? Is it really? <laughs> oh, fuck. I was, okay. Matt, thank you, brother. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice pause, Kirk. Uh, it's it's yeah it's, it's unnatural we got I think it that it's, yeah it's it's detrimental look and, at this guy uh ultimately it's destructive detrimental to so many, uh, of the to so many of my dreams i have so many gay dreams he's gotta be i'm flying. kurt cameron and i can't, can't stop taking a melatonin gummy and dreaming of butt fucking <laughs> that's what he wanted to say but he's like let me just turn this on them you know when you get off stage and you have like a mediocre set you guys are always throwing darts against the wall that's why i love you you guys fucking press the uh, envelope hell yeah take yeah, that fist from the air put it to mine but I think that Kirk's doing the opposite. Instead of when you get off stage and you go, shitty crowd, you guys are good at going, now what the fuck did I do? Kirk gets off and goes, look at those gay guys fuck in the park. Yeah. You know, I don't know where he is, where that's happening, but he sees it and instead of going, I'm fucking turned on by that, he goes, that's unnatural. Right. I mean, I don't know. We can keep this in or looks, take looks it out. Like a but boy. I mean, I, that's the weird thing when you... When you a hard to heart he wanted to say yeah. <laughs> everything's boner with this guy who was a character yeah, on the that's show right and getting fucked in the ass is a growing pain yep <laughs> we'll be right back there we go we'll folks. keep it right here Where's going i want to see more of that hold on that was, that was crazy oh, i'll send you a link i'll send you i'll send you four <laughs> <laughs> look at young pierces what yep. you say well <laughs> is this a question if my kid was gay yeah okay oh, great good. sorry keep going matt as long as you're happy i'm gonna say uh you know, there's there's all sorts of issues that we need to wrestle through in our life, and just because you feel one way doesn't mean you should act on everything. Hit pause, Matt. We do have all uh, issues, and I talk about that in my book, We've Got Issues. Chapter 26, Don't Let Kirk Cameron Stop You from That Grinder Date. <laughs> so it's a Morgan. short chapter. Uh, it pierced in the buttle. Yep. Some people would say that telling kids that being gay is a sin or getting married is a sin, or whatever. Mm -hmm. that in itself is incredibly destructive and damaging in a country where seven states now have legalized it. Yeah. Mark, what's Norm saying about uh, having a gay son? Oh, he's like, it's not an accomplishment. Uh -huh. You know, everybody's like, I'm proud of my gay son, but he's like, being gay is an accomplishment. It's, you know, it's one thing if you're like, I, my son went to law school, Harvard Law, and graduated. <laughs> yeah. How about you? He loves cock. <laughs> <laughs> Super funny. That's a great Norm joke. The, uh, the thing about Kirk Cameron that I that I miss uh, is, I guess, his ability to, um, you know, he, he could he could uh, hit a punchline in, yep. in a kitchen next to Alan Thick. Wow! Uh, another another penis uh, related uh, guy in his life, you know. Thick, thick. You know, he probably had a tough time even looking at his TV dad because he was yeah. thinking about cock the whole time. Well, how about this Olympian with the huge hog that lost in the gold? We got to talk about it. I've seen too many clips. And I don't feel bad for him. No, I do yeah. feel I do feel ashamed for his family that yeah. that you didn't know to tuck that shit or I tape know. it up. Tape like, it up. Buffalo like, Bill that shit. Buffalo Bill that shit. I think there's part of me. I don't know how talented he is, but part of me thinks he did that on purpose to to mm. get his shine. To get He's, a flashlight. This is Mayo Hawk Tua. Yeah, well, I mean, get a flashlight sponsor. He lost the gold medal, but he's gonna be just thriving at every bar in the in the world. Yeah, he, he gets to go to one at the at the uh, bar and go. I'm the guy who lost. Why'd you lose? Yeah, let me show you the clip. Let me show bitch. you the clip. In fact, they're playing at the bar because every bar has Chav TV. Yeah, <laughs> Chav TV. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, he lost the. I mean, that is. Uh, look at everyone's that. doing. Everyone's doing. Yeah, look at that. RFK's find it yeah. on its own. And too many people talking about it. And he's a French guy too. I know. Now riddle me this, Sam. Did do French guys historically have? Uh, you know, are, are they? Do they? Did they get the gift of penis? I, you know, it's not my area of expertise, Doctor. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> if the Jamaican runner can tape up his schlong, yeah. this guy can hide. If John his, Candy uh, can coach a uh, Jamaican bobsled team, I think this guy can can uh, 
somersault his wing yeah. into a I fucking press. I didn't think it was going to be a white guy who knocked that down with his dick. <laughs> yeah, I gotta that's be what I'm honest. Saying. That's a great point. It also looked, I mean, it didn't just hit it. It fucking, it looked like he was trying to wrap itself around yeah, the pole. That was a real boy oing oing moment. <laughs> Feel the rhythm. Feel the, Feel the rhyme. rhyme. Come on, everybody. It's big cock time. <laughs> That's a good Jamaican accent. I take back what I said on the internet. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, yeah. it's resting on there like a like a canary. I wonder what happened when the, uh, com- did, is there footage of the commentators when it went down? Because uh, you know they played this shit on repeat. Oh, yeah. Oh, his dreams have come to a close. It was only just a little colder in here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah he go to the Winter Olympics. Nice. Go to the Winter Olympics. You guys are quick. Did Snoop Dogg, uh, <laughs> did Snoop Dogg commentate this? Oh, thing? yeah, good question. Because that'd be fun. He's making bank, I hear. What, would you guys do that? Yeah, why In a not? heartbeat. I think trip. that's next. It's a good trip. Oh, I yeah. used to think, you know, remember, remember when they put Dennis Miller in the uh, Monday Night Football booth? Oh, yeah. It was okay. I don't. I didn't love it. Not the right fit. Bro. No, I would have I would have rather, at that time, I would have put Frank Caliendo in there or uh, oh. and just have voice after voice calling downs, you Kyle know? Like Adam Ray would have been perfect. He would have been okay. Uh, a little, little Jewy hacky. for my taste, a little hacky. Yeah, well, Theo Vaughn did a couple of Monday nights. Theo Vaughn did, the, oh, he did, well, the college football, right? College football, that was it. Oh, he ripped it up on there. You do need a character, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Theo's uh, Theo's actually from Burbank, so which is the crazy part. The accents <laughs> all all put on. But I don't care for comedy. It's a hair characters. piece I heard too. It's a hair oh, piece. Oh really? Yeah. We've all got hair pieces at some point. These character comics, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. They, well, we'll take a break and we'll I mean, see if you do get it, Mark. Just be yourself. Okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes uh, mixing it up is the way to break through. You know. Very strange. Sometimes, uh, as long as no one's fucking with you as yourself, and you got to ch- take some chances. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time. Guys, what's your favorite color? <laughs> well, uh, it's not black. No. But I, I got to say, you're, you're selling out the comedy store like We got to uh, talk about this. Hotcakes. Marky Mark, you came on. Sammy, we got to make that happen. I know you. Whenever you're out there. Come on, I want to do it. Try to make it work. We'll figure it out. Whenever you're out there next. It was supposed to be me and Chrissy back in the day. It's supposed right? to be you and Chrissy, yeah. And we'll, then Chrissy we'll canceled a few times and then- it's Chrissy Teigen. Oh, yeah, wow. That's own a Chrissy Teigen. Teigen. I, I got a Chris, a Stefano peeve. Can this be my peeve? Oh. Yeah, let's peeve it up. We've done a ton of uh, we've done a ton of casinos together lately. We're both building back up. I love that. casinos together. Yep. Sure. He brings his fucking family on every gig. No, you I thought can't. this was going to be party time. Yeah, it's party yeah. time. He's bringing Excellent. The, last time it was just one daughter. <laughs> yep. This time, it's the whole family. Uh, I, think, no, I think you got to swap them out and bring in Rob Lowe. That's who you're, that's who you're touring with now. <laughs> you should like bring in it. Stavi. Stavi, yeah. I mean, look, if you're going to a casino, uh, you know, first time I met Gary uh, Veter mm. uh, was when I joined along. Him and Adam Ray did a, uh, a casino in Minnesota. Wow. Oh, I think fun. Mystic Lake. That's I, Are we going there? We might be in Minnesota. And that's they actually saw Little Kiss there. You can ask Gary about it, but what a rock star. By the way, Gary Veter's podcast, is it's out in its entire- I started to check some of it out. Ten Super episodes. Funny. The ending's incredible. It's it's worth your listen. Number one dad. Yes. Love that. Please, you love it, right? Love it. It's so good. I'm on the edge yeah. of my dick, and I, I can't wait to finish it. I'm at the top of my dick, but I'll still watch it. Well, careful with that vo- pole vault. <laughs> there is uh, something about what you did at the store, Mark. You uh, you you went hard in the paint. It was you, Burt Crasher, Goo Goo Dolls, Tony Inchcliffe, Doctor Pimple Popper. That's right. And you were a legit grossed out by that zit. Oh, now, I, do, I ate half of it. Z- yeah, zits are uh, 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 on the surface aren't a, a fun thing to look at. No, but, but when you see them up close like that, it takes another. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there might be clips of it somewhere. Well, but. what's with women? Uh, women like to pop a man's zits. Have you noticed that? They, they do. Get back there. Yeah, what and, is that? And whitehead it up. Oh, my wife Robin. Sometimes I'll uh, you know I'll try to get her in the mood. I'll put on a uh, you know uh, oh shit I don't know uh, Chevy Chase's Vegas Vacation. Sure. Right. She loves that. She loves uh, Wayne Newton. Right. All women love want to f- fucking you That's know true. sit on Wayne Newton's face. Oh yeah. So I put that on to kind of grease the wheels. Maybe some Phil Collins, a lot of Yankee Doodle Candle. And then uh, next thing you know, uh, she's getting on me to straddle me, but she's popping a neck pimple, uh, not to ride me because she sees some sort of, uh, you know, uh, you know, Footlocker cyst. Yeah, and she just wants to. Uh, well, what, what is it? Take a bite out of crime. This, this was the episode with pimple popper. She pulls this goo out of this guy's neck. Yeah, so we had a comedian come up here. How'd you get Salicuse on stage oh, so quick? That is awful. I don't like that either. Yeah, well, it gets better. Oh, oh, watch this! Man. She goes for it. The fuck are you doing? Yeah, Mark couldn't handle it. I Look at that. Handle it. I'm freaking out. But yeah, Bert can't. Bert was moments away from taking his penis. Out. And Mark, uh, no, I think Mark steps off stage. Worst thing ever. How did he, where, where's this guy from? 
Uh, his name is a comedian named Sandy Danto. Yikes. So we had to blur that for YouTube purposes, but that was real goo. You consider that a cum shot? Yep. Yeah. And then watch what comes out here. This is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, good plug for Jerry. What yeah. the fuck? What is that? Oh, look check at it out. Macaroni. So Mark's like, I'm out of here, and and then I said, Well, I'm a showman first, and a doctor second. Yeah. So <laughs> people go nuts. Let me look to the side cam. No! Yep. You got it. Right on. You got it. Q. Brody well Stevens style. Why would Camera you three. do that? Well done. Because the people were clapping. You've never done something you didn't want to do because the fans went berserk? Yeah. Comedy. Comedy, baby. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so that's what the show's turned into. A little bit of fun. Then we got some Goo Goo Dolls at the end. We sang uh, Iris. I could not believe you put that in your fucking mouth. Yeah. How do you get these gets? How do you get a Goo Goo Doll? Uh, I met him at Stern uh, about oh. five years ago. They actually, uh, I went to Adam Ray's wedding. They played his wedding. Whoa. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, played Iris goo. for the first dance song. Goo and a Goo Goo. Yeah, Goo and a Goo Goo. Favorite 90s band. If you could have them play at your uh, wedding, Ooh. funeral, circumcision. Good question. That's uh, a hell of a... My Chemical Romance, Vertical Horizon. Sam, you strike me as a... Nope. I don't know him. Mm, Vertical I... Horizon, you know. I might go yeah. Sir Mix a lot. Okay. Doing a birthday party or Let's something? Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Give me some uh, Oh Me So Horny. No, Two Live Crew. Two Live Crew. Sorry. Yeah, oh, the, me um, so horny. Mix a lot does uh, not safety dance. What's the boom, 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 boom? Well, he's got big butts and I can't lie. Big butts. Lie. Jump on it. Oh, is that him? Yeah, that's for Mix a lot. No. Okay, fuck me. Well, right? I think that's uh, Naughty by Nit. No, uh, Boys. Uh, Boy bring the world. pain. Bring the pain. Bring the pain. Bring the funk. I don't know. Jump on it, yeah. Jump on it. Bam, 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 boop. Do you have a karaoke go-to, Sam? Yeah. Let's go. Leonard Cohn, everybody knows. Oh, that's Walking a in Memphis? party Yeah, time, why not? Huh? That, I, I, I love that. I did a funeral once. Oh, no, you karaoke. didn't. Everyone got really mad at me. Yeah, they were trying to cheer people up. Ah. And, and then I took the mic and did Everybody Knows, and everyone was like, what the fuck? It's a great song. Damn. I everybody mean, knows. I do nothing compared to The deal is rotten. Well, also Sinead great. O'Connor. What do you do? Nothing compares to you. Yep. <laughs> great song. Oh, yeah. Great. That's a great song to leave your family to. Yeah. What's your karaoke song? I'd probably uh, I'd probably say uh, Annie Lennox, uh, Dooba Dooba Doop Boop Boop. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, or uh, Queen, uh, anything Queen, uh, Bohemian. I sang Bohemian Rhapsody at a... Uh, at a gang bang. It, well, it, wasn't, it didn't start off as a gang bang, but what? you know sometimes you walk into a barbecue and everyone's sure. just fucked up already, right? Yeah. Zemas are flowing. There was Parcheesi out. Ooh. Twister. <laughs> but it was upstairs. You know yeah. when everyone's like, Twister's upstairs. Is you this go, how he got AIDS? Who? Freddie. Prince? Mercury. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Twister, I think, is what did it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, it might have been the butt fuck. Yeah, I don't know. It could have been... Uh, <laughs> There's a, there's a, no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Don't tell Kirk Cameron. <laughs> Don't tell Kirk. That's the name of my memoir. <laughs> Don't tell Kirk Cameron. And it's about uh, Epstein Island and uh, Baskin Robbins, how they got going. <laughs> no, but uh, but we were fucking around at this uh, party, and uh, there was I forget what the question was. What was it? Oh, Fred Savage. Fred Savage is probably the most underrated kid actor of all time. Oh, um, uh, Wonder Years. Wonder Years. But my karaoke song, that's what it was, is probably yeah, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I'll sing the Wonder Years theme song. I am a big TV theme guy, so I'll do the Cheers theme song. You know what I'm saying? Where yeah. everybody uh, knows you're gay. Yeah, yay! Boom! 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 Yeah, and, and you're always glad that you came into a condom because she wasn't down for uh, inside. Right. Uh, you got to be where, and I'm not good with the weir- uh, the lyrics. I know the, the melody. Oh, you got it? I'll do it. Turn it up. Is this going to play? Are we going to get sued? You're going to get sued? It's Wonder Years. That can't be right. Yeah, no, that's not, that's not <laughs> even close. I think it was Joe Cocker was Wonder Years. Yep. Uh, what could it be? I'll also do some Alanis Morissette. Uh, Love Alanis. Uh, every, every, anything from the '90s, but then every now and then like you go, Alanis. you go back in time. We'll do some Huey Lewis. Hell right? yeah! Back in time, another guy with a huge hog. Apparently, Huey. Oh, uh, yeah. historic it's news. Hung. It's the yeah. news. <laughs> <laughs> you, it just unravels like a newspaper when you take it out. I feel like Huey Lewis and the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh... Is this yeah. Wonder Years? Yeah. Stand up and walk out on me. Oh, this yeah. is Beatles. Yeah. Is this Wonder Years? 
It's a song. It's just the Beatles version. Of you it. sure that's the one? Oh, cool. You want to pull up my fifth grade T-ball video next, man? What the fuck are you doing <laughs> know, right now? Right? Nothing to do with what road. we're talking about. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. It's another good karaoke tune. It is, yeah. There is something to be said about bringing the party together, right? Sure. Do you guys ever do that on stage? Are you ever on stage and you can feel people going, fuck, they're disconnected? How do you bring them together, Mark? Uh, you know, you shout things from uh, Hezbollah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you know, the chants. Yeah. The, uh, what's the word? I can uh, see what you're doing. To the sea. Hey, hey, give me a real answer. <laughs> All right. Well, wait, say it again. How do you How do connect I... the room, Mark? I, I do a little crowd work, maybe. Yep. Get them all on board. You know, you do crowd work and people get on the edge of your seat. They're like, what? What's he saying? Oh, yeah. You know, so everybody's I think it's listening. A, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a very, it's an imperative skill set to have to bring a room together. Oh, yeah. Sometimes everyone can can get on board with something that was not planned. You know what they got to be spicy with it. They say if you actually get quieter and pause, the room comes in you think you got to hammer them with laughs and totally. punchlines and, and be oh, that's loud when they get talkative yeah but if you go the other way they actually go wait what's this you know <laughs> i love yeah, that. I whisper my job I'm like, yeah <laughs> yeah asmr because you got to listen even closer dude. you have to sorry miami <laughs> yeah, sorry and chat on you for being too cuban yeah stop <laughs> doing blow and, and getting fake tits you cubans miami though that is the first place I ever passed out in a live bar really miami yeah really yeah, a karaoke joint i was visiting a friend at the miami improv and we popped over and it was one of those places where everybody knows somebody in that little uh miami oh, improv yeah. uh strip mall and Dor-Al. so Dora, yeah Doral, and it was uh man it was a shit show i I think I saw God that night, or at least a lesbian dressed like God. And uh, we ended up in the bathroom eating chips and salsa together. Nice. <laughs> but, you know, fuck it. I didn't have to be home in, uh, until a couple of days later. I stuck around to go to the beach. Not a big fan of the nude beaches in Miami. Really? I didn't Why know they that? had them. Oh, I, well, okay. They Yeah, well, they said once I, you know, got naked that I needed to you know, put put everything back on. But wow. but mm. uh, but there were a couple kids that were running around. They were babies, so I guess, you know, I should have taken a, a hint that they were, you know, nude on, on purpose. But uh, right. we have a clip of it. Oh, really? Wait, what? I just wanted to see how quickly you <laughs> perked up at the idea of a nude baby video, Matt. That's Wipe that hard drive clean, clean, buddy. Wipe that hard They're drive clean. You. Yeah, nude beach, never what you want. I went to Barcelona, and I was like, oh, we got a nude beach. And right when I said that, a guy rolled over, and I saw his disgusting hairy balls just flop like a beached whale. Damn. What's that? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you guys left me there. No, no, that's fucking... Were you and the wife nude? No, I was just walking by. It's just right out in the open. You can walk right by a nude beach. And, Let me and tell you something. When you see a fat guy on the beach fully nude, it's it's inspiring. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, true. Because something about like not giving a fuck. You know, comedians, people, whoever might bash gals for not wearing outfits that fit their bodies. I'm all for it, you know? Eh, sometimes a, a giant midriff is a little uncalled for. Yeah, I, I, I'm well, inspired to leave the beach, honestly. And uh, well, the hair is so much hair. Together. I'm hairy as fuck. Gonna, Are you really? You got that Robin Williams uh, back and arm hair combination? I, I got some hair, dude. All right, what are you doing to us here? What uh, what type of uh, what type are you? What type of white uh, guy are you? <laughs> what type of white guy? Sure, I'm Ashkenaz. A, Ashkenaz Jew. Let's, okay, and that's a hairier version. Yeah, Eastern European Jews tend to have some hair. Ooh, there we go. What is, what is this? That's what do you Stavros's, put on uh, uh, wallpaper? It's Jared from Subway. Yeah, that pre, guy uh, Pre-surgery. Oh, yeah. Look oh, at boy. that Bobby Kelly, everybody. <laughs> cool. See, I got no problem with that if you're facing that way, though. Yeah, it's like Don't a turn around. Don't I mean, turn around to grab the sun chips. Yeah, you rub that belly. That's good luck. Yeah, I, I don't think you can be that big and... Uh, well, now in Southwest, you know, they changed their uh, seating arrangement. What'd they do? Well, it's no more free-for-all. It's no more jumping into C-Group right. like one of the rest of the Narnia creatures. C-Group, you know, you guys have flown C-Group. It's fucking Walmart at past C-Group. fucking midnight. C-Group is uh, bottom of the barrel. It's yeah. people you forgot we have. And so, less. Yeah, the, oh, C-Group. What I love in C-Group is when you're boarding and you're like C-75 and there's some dickhead who's like C-79 and he's like... Hey, uh, what, uh, what, what are you? What are you? Yeah. yeah. We're both sitting on the fucking wing, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I'd rather fly C-section, I'll tell you. It's rough. <laughs> oh. <right now. laughs> Tears through the sky. So they're... Uh, they're changing it up, yeah. They they people are mad about the uh, the free for all, the Sesame Street boarding process. So it sucked. Yeah, 
You got you got to make a change. I mean, you know, you should also fucking get some better snacks. Yeah. Make sure the flight attendants stop doing stand-up. I almost stand never up. fly <laughs> Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The flight attendant's getting cocky with that mic. They're real cocky. That wasn't an invitation. Yeah. Imagine seeing Wrap an open up. micer say, my special's coming out taped at the Haha. That's what Southwest Airlines, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, flight attendants are doing. They got a, they got, they're real confident. I gave her the light once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the weird thing, does Southwest still do the fat people get two seats? Because that was their claim to fame for a while. If you're a, a large... The claim uh, to shame, yeah, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, a human being, you get a double double header. Double seat and you get a double Actually, I walked past the pounder. nude row, it's disgusting. <laughs> How about, uh, you guys, uh, please tell me you've seen this, Matt. There was a gentleman, I think it went viral today, he was on a, uh, a flight on edibles. Have oh, you not seen this? Oh, fuck. Uh, this guy has now taken over the champ in my heart as the, the coolest guy on a plane to lose his fucking shit. Really? He went cuckoo for cocoa. He's on a be- First of all, let me, let me, I want to do an impression of the guy before you play it. Okay. He gets up here and goes, ah, my shoulder. So first of all, he's already just a little bitch, but he's <laughs> funny about it because he's on edible. So I'm like, I, I know what that's like to be a little too stony baloney. You fucking bump into your friend's futon. And you're like, God damn it. Yep. Now I got to get a, a knee replacement. He gets up out of the back row. He's fucked up on Eddie's. You got a fucking Vietnam War vet helping him out or trying to get him a glad trash bag. Right. And this guy gets into the aisle, and he's just looking to kind of make one last statement before he fucking hocked to us down the aisle way. <laughs> and he says a lot of fun shit. I don't know if you've seen it, Sam. I can't He says, wait. go Trump, but you know what? I'll take Biden, too. Very funny. Wow. Then he says, uh, so what else did he say? Well, okay, great. Let's go ahead and watch Let's it together as a it. family. Wow, my shoulder. Awesome. <laughs> Big fan of that. Help you get some. No shirt, by the way. Whoa. How do I do it now? Slow. Just walk as fast. How do I do it? He's so high. Whoa. Sing a long time. I don't mind. He's undecided. RFK, ride him in. Who gives a fuck? This guy's got a worm brain. I don't mind this guy. He's got the mothership security taking him down the. Uh, <laughs> I don't mind this guy at all. Oh, my shoulders are great. Start Look at totally. The zip tie. They really upped the zip tie on that fucker. Yep. God, Jeez. that's what an annoying reason to be delayed. Well, see, this guy. Else- too totally, that's exactly what I thought too. Because you know, cancer. If you got to lay in the plane for cancer, or which I don't know why you would have to, but it's a stroke. It's something, a stroke something that you know. But but this is equivalent to like a fatty being like I left my wheat thins on the counter. <laughs> Can we go back? Yeah, this guy's going to sell out arenas now with this. Oh, this my is, God. This is funnier than any special I've put out. Can you imagine? I, there is something about going viral on a plane uh, in this day and age. I think yeah. they also said he was trying to open the back door. Oh. And that's not an anal euphemism. He was trying to open the back door to the plane. I see. To fucking hop, skip, and, and stop, well, drop, was, and roll. It was a woman who went viral for being like, this is going down, and now she's like an influencer. That, like, motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. Yeah. That, that, that he was kind of hot, by the way. Pull her up. She was real attractive. She wasn't bad. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, her name's like uh, Chrissy or... Pretty funny. She's got a little bad baby in her. Yeah. A little trash. See, that's what I'm thinking. It's, some it's people are doing like, this now. It's all like a real life, and then you just like have a meltdown in a flight, and you start an OnlyFans, and you're like, hey, I'm good. That's it. You're set. Oh, yeah. The Does same she have an OnlyFans? Probably. Uh, I, I wouldn't doubt it. There's I'd there's not... T- I mean, I've tried to get Robin to get an OnlyFans going. I think there's oh, yeah. money on the table yeah. to be had. Yeah. Robin I want Mark cradle. to spread those cheeks. He's got a fucking nice... Oh, yeah. What would, where, how would you guys have to get... Where would you have to be in your careers to dip into the OnlyFans pool? And what well, would you throw up? It's a two-part question. 40 less seats a weekend, probably. 40 less seats a weekend. <laughs> You hear that Columbus funny bone? <laughs> Step it up. Well, it doesn't. It wouldn't take. I don't think anybody's paying nah. for our our sack. Well, not with that attitude, Mark. You got to believe yes. in yourself. All right. Well, call in if you're willing to. Uh... Well, I just want to know what would you put up though, or what do you think the fans would want from you? I go toes, taint, taint, taint and feet. I don't think you see enough taint on the internet. I agree. And I'm not asking for messages now uh, with taint uh, JPEGs, but <laughs> but I think that that's some. Oh, so Karen, yeah, Karen's got. Uh, She's got all kinds of stuff up there. Have you I mean, oh yeah. Let me stuff? look. You can you can see it. I'll send you a link. Oh. She's probably making tens of twenties of thirties, thousands, huh? I think just no thousands. No thousands. Bucks, all 30. right. Well, hey, that's she, gas money. She's doing all right. Yeah. She's uh look at that rump on the right. I mean, that's not too shabby. Well, wow, very nice. There is something to be said about uh, taking a step back, evaluating your life. When'd you get a dog, Sam? Oh, it's it's my girlfriend's dog. 
You don't like dogs? I love this dog. Yeah. You didn't like the dog prior to this dog? We no. we, we had a tough uh, few months, but we, we worked. You and the dog or you and the girl? <laughs> Both. They put it down. Oh, shit. The girl. Yeah. Well, that's well, I it. Had to, I, I think that's maybe that'll be my nudes is uh, full frontal just holding the, the pooch. I'd sign hey. up for that. You think chicks will be into that? For sure. That's smart. So you didn't want the dog at first. You were kind of just anti- I uh, wasn't, I mean, want the dog. The dog's 17. The dog's been That's around. a 17-year-old dog. The dog's old as shit. So yeah. it was probably in all the Air Bud movies. <laughs> Even the last one that went straight to uh, DVD, Air Bud uh, 25, The Shelter's Full. <laughs> <laughs> and the new one, he's doing trans sports. Yep, he has to. Yeah, we got neutered. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's fucking funny, Mark. Oh, good times, good times. Yeah, there's. I'm thinking about you know because I'm coming into a little bit more cash money in 2024, so I'm trying to buy some exotic pets. Yeah, just fluff thinking? things up. I'm thinking bird, eh. but not just parakeet. Eh. I'm thinking fucking like pterodactyl. Oh. They're around. Oh, oh my god! There's a woman who goes. There's like a little outdoor seating at the coffee shop I go to. And does the story get better, Sam? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, but continue. There's a woman who comes with a bird every fucking day at three o'clock. I think I've what? heard of this. And the bird goes, eh, eh. And everyone's like, are you fucking kidding me? We, like, we all, yeah. My point is don't get a fucking bird. Don't get a, well, uh, what, what kind of bird? Because I'm again, I'm talking like larger than life. I'm talking like a- Pelican? Like a pe yeah, some that like you wouldn't take to a coffee shop. That you only take to- you know, parties, you know, right. where people go, what can he do? And you go, look, and you know, how much money you got and <laughs> what sort of uh, pole vault penis you're working with. <laughs> Maybe he'll, uh, or a um, flamingo. Those seem fun. That'd Exotic cool. birds. Two cans, unless you, uh, unless you're leading me to some Fruit Loops, I got no time for you. Yeah, who needs a toucan? But a flamingo is not a bad idea. Yeah, because it's exotic, and I think it's also. I always think WWMD. What would uh, Mike do, Tyson? Oh. Not, not Pence. I know you were thinking Pence, Sam, but <laughs> he wouldn't get a bird. He'd uh, ask his wife if he could uh, put his thumb in his but i don't know improv goes, stuff eh, what's that eh. that's a good pen sorry i didn't know you did a pen i only do pence getting a thumb up his ass <laughs> and uh rfk <laughs> after uh three shots of tequila <laughs> okay, after leaving a, a dead cub in central park <laughs> wait, wait, we got to talk about that yeah. what, what did i miss oh rfk yeah so i met rfk really at the uh kill tony forum show i was doing it with tim dylan and post malone right the, wow the, the la forum mad libs of uh lineup it was yeah mary fuck kill i don't yeah i don't even know where you start on that one uh i did some pretty <laughs> wild jokes i wish I, I could pull them up but one of them i remember was uh we got hans kim and rick diaz getting ready to battle on tonight's forum kill tony mm. i haven't seen this much bad blood in the forum since michael uh magic johnson's last game Woo! Bad. Ooh, I love it. Fucked it up by saying Michael Jordan for a second there, well, but AIDS is really the through line of this show. I feel like we keep going back to AIDS. Yeah, the the billboards are everywhere. Yeah, in Los Angeles, everyone's like apparently. Every, I mean, I probably got it, but you just <laughs> you gotta at you this point. Now. Yeah, you live with it. Yeah, magic made it normal, but but uh, RFK, I met him backstage, and uh, and I I don't want to say he didn't look like he had just hidden a bear. But uh, wait, you know, what is this bear story? I, so I'm off on that. I'll, I'll tee it up. I'll tee it up for tee you. Me. So, RFK, right? Yeah. You know who he is. Yes. You've heard of bears, right? Yes. What's your favorite bear? That's a good team. Yogi. Yogi. Not black. Good bear. No, not black. Not like uh, Bernstein. Grizz. Grizz. Yeah, Grizzly. You got the uh, you got the Smokey, right? Yeah. The bear. You got the Bernstein, and you got a. Uh, you got Blue from Jungle Book. Oh, bear yeah. Jew. He was a good bear. Oh, bear Jew. Bear Jew. Yeah. Who's Bear Jew? Eli Roth. There we go. We got the bear from The Revenant with Leo. That's right. You got the bear from Grizzly Man. That bear got that me dude. too, Dad. That was crazy. <laughs> that bear got me too. Nice. Yeah, because yeah. he was, yeah, well, he was a lot too. Of rape. By the way, that was, <laughs> yeah, and that was the oldest uh, girl Leo's been with, that bear. <laughs> now, now uh, I love you, Leo. Come on the podcast. But I want to <laughs> say this about me. RF. Bear with me, Leo. The uh, the RFK Cubs. So he uh, saw a Cub, uh, uh, Mark, that got hit with a bike. Okay. I don't know if it's electric, boogie woogie, or just a regular peddler right. situation. But the Cub was on the side of the fucking road, and RFK's fucking Looney Tunes fucking butthole picked up a bear cub mm. and said, I'm going to skin it for meat. He said this no. to Roseanne. What? He said, I'm going to I'm gonna skin the bucket bear. For, I was like, is that Josh Adam Myers or RFK? <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm going to skin the bear for bucket meat. And so he says that, and I'm like, all right, already creepy, weird thing to say on a first date, or to yourself. Yes. Then he's like, if I can't skin the bear for meat, 
Then he says, I can't. Uh, then he goes, I got caught up. By the way, you got money. Just get a fucking piece of grilled chicken. Why didn't you skin yeah. a Great call. Hey, fucking Chipotle's everywhere, bitch. Yeah. Right. You got chicken steak, and guess what? Probably bear cut meat if you asked the sweet Mexican guy behind the counter. You go, hey, wow. can I get some extra corn? And do you have bear cut meat still? And he goes, what? <laughs> Maybe. You go, hey, you've been having a good time. Bear so, grills. So he goes, I got cut up with my with my plans. So I, and then I realized I got to get to the airport. So he goes, but I got the bear cub in my trunk. Oh, and by the way, he said it like, oh, oh, I forgot I have a bear cub in my trunk. Which Jesus. that leads me to assume how many fucking child animals are you fucking rolling around New York City with? Wow. So then he goes, I don't have time to take it with me to the airport. I can't take it in my overhead luggage. You know, I, the only thing this small I can carry on to a plane is Brad Williams, right? <laughs> so, and Brad's not here. He's in Des Moines, Iowa, the funny bone. So yeah. I got to take this bear to the park and I'm going to leave it near a fucking bicycle and stage, this motherfucking motherfucker staged his, uh, his own fucking uh, hit and run with a bike and a bear. This Coming to real. theaters next month. It's called Anatomy of a Fall 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Ted 3. I mean, I would watch a documentary about the... I mean, someone's got to dress up like the bear and do like... I mean, the bear's got to... It'd be great if the bear wasn't dead. That'd yeah. be a great plot twist. Well, this is already a better plot than the show The Bear, which is not <laughs> Tough great. show to watch. Yeah. Not a comedy either. I know! What's so funny? They ran out of soy sauce? <laughs> This is a real photo of him with that bear. Is that really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Why does he look so... But the bear's dead. Why is he making that face? He's, made, he's doing a joke like he's biting me. Why uh, Why is he... Oh, I don't like this guy. I don't understand. He he grew up in a, a place of privilege, I'm yeah. assuming. He's a Martha's candidate. Vineyard. And why is he always trying to prove like how fucking hard he is? Yeah. I think you're discounting how cuckoo he is. He's yeah. also an ex-heroin addict, and he's had like six wives. But do you see the video of him like with the snake? What do no, you do with the that. snake? Look it up. It's oh, fucking boy. mental. He's like holding the snake shop? by the head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got a real problem with animal cruelty, but also with people. And look, talking about skinning a bear cub for meat, that just makes me think that you're like one weird choice away from... Um, Killing your wife? Yep. I agree. You, bet you don't touch fucking Cheryl, dude. No. You leave Cheryl alone, RFK. Oh, that was it, I think. You oh, just got to fast forward. What was that, bro? Oh, fast forward, okay. Fast forward. It's weird as fuck. This is my thing. Look at this. Man, he's ripped. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's the other thing, he's too. Jacked board. guys over 70 always throw me off. Yeah. You ever go to a... Natural. Fast, go backwards a bit. What's he doing? I don't like seeing him in his natural habitat. Yeah, this is weird. It's like seeing your teacher at the mall. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's your snake. Oh, so he's just catching snakes and batting... Uh, the, what the hell? Did he add music to this? Is this System of a Down? He's showing, he's showing, he's posting <laughs> this video to be like, look how fucking tough I am. Oh. But by, by the way, not a prerequisite in a president. It's like, hey, can you handle snakes? <laughs> right. So funny. Maybe in the old days. There's another one that where he's holding it by the head. He's like fucking with it. I, yeah, I always wonder when people post That's shit forward. like this. Because it, it, you're right, Sam. It's like, why do you, Here why do you. Look. Yeah, that's pretty tough. He's got my vote. But why I mean, why change you a tire and then neck. show me something? Right. Change a tire. Holy shit. Bites okay, that's neck. yeah, that's pretty crazy. I just don't Well, oh, I don't need you to do this, you know. You can do that with the Taliban. Eat it. Yeah, eat it. <laughs> that's <laughs> actually a great call, bit Matt. Off, if he bite. bit the head off, I'd go, you got my vote. <laughs> Not only for this, that's, but for American Idol. Is that a rattlesnake? Like Cheryl, God Cheryl. bless you. What are you being in this video for? It's amazing. This makes Larry look reasonable. They should have slowly <laughs> zoomed in on RFK and gone, did it, did it, did it, but it, but it, you know? He's wow. like, this dude seems exhausted. And even Cheryl's like, I don't, I don't know if this is a good idea. He must wake up and go, I wonder if we could, if we could get, if we could eat a giraffe today. <laughs> All right, that's a bad, uh, you know, uh, it sounded better in my head. But there's something about, about this picture that I think uh, lends itself to, to people who want to go to the zoo and go, well, maybe we're going to have to put up a higher shield. You ever see that video? It's titled, don't look it up. I don't think this is the title because it's something about, I saw it in the 90s. It was uh, before YouTube. It was like a, it said, kid annoys gorilla into cum shot. <laughs> and it starts off, and the kid is just kind of tapping on the glass. 
Yeah. And I'm like, he's not annoyed. He's bored. He's like, it's my birthday. Do something. And then he turns into annoyed. Like, ever see like one of those Karens that taps on like a, yeah. a young black teenager's, teenager's car in a Target parking lot during COVID? Yeah. Is, are you supposed to be in this neighborhood? Right. Starts tapping like that. And then the gorilla <laughs> wakes up from a nap and just starts fucking shooting one off. Wow. And when I tell you all the jizz, Mark, I'm telling you all the jizz. I don't know wow. humans or creatures were, were uh, supposed to hold as much cum inside them as there was in this gorilla. He wow. shot all the gorilla glue right at this fucking wall. <laughs> Thank God for the shield, which you know with chiclets, but also the shield that was up because you know there's a one-eyed kid walking around. Yeah. It was my it was my birthday, and I didn't, I didn't have a shield up. And then all of a sudden, boom, Whoa. you know, he takes one for the team, and now he's got a story uh, and and, uh, and, uh, and uh, some sympathy pussy coming his way. A cumbe. Hakumbe, uh, but now the shield goes up, and the most impressive part, boom, jizz, kid doesn't flinch. What? Just You see a mouth it's like, Kobe, is that all you Kobe got? ball in the face it, moment? A oh. Great fucking call, <laughs> Sam, you fucking yeah. great, and one. Yeah, well, that kid's going to be a hell of a gay. Yeah, that's a, I mean, that's a, or a president, you know? Sure, sure. Or RFK's a, you know, a crocodile, you know, fuck me. RFK can never debate again, because anything he says, like, oh, yeah, how about you go pick up a snake, you weirdo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this Kill might, pub, I mean. I don't know if this is it. Yeah, so what do we think about, and also baby animals, can I say karma's a real thing? Mm. I think that the, the main, don't be surprised. Where's my where's my RFK bear attack cam? Where is right it? Right there. Right here. Don't be surprised, uh, Robert, uh, when a real life bear shows up in your backyard because you they know they know that you fucking took took the baby. Yeah. They and, right. and some you know and I don't wish anything bad on anybody except for I went to high school with a kid named Micah Denunzio. Mm. And uh, freshman year of uh, high school, I was walking by him and his girlfriend against the lockers, and they were making out. There might have been some finger action going on. Sure, it's the eighties, right? And uh, or the seventies. I forgot how old I am, <laughs> but but this kid was all up inside her, uh, Keith Sweat style. Uh huh. And I said, "Get a room," and he fucking. He he tried to fight me six or seven times. Wow! So uh, Nunzio, I don't want to say I hate him, but I but I just you know if a if a you know let's say if a fucking hippo showed up at his house and tried to you know fucking cut his dick up, I wouldn't be upset. Right. I'd, I'd laugh and then I go, I hope he's okay. There's too many gorilla jerk videos though on YouTube. Yeah, of course well, Matt knows that. That's not new information I to got Matt. A whole new weekend plan. Yeah, Jesus. Look at this. See, the kid has no clue. Monkey see, monkey goo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Look at this thing now. Oh, it's, Whoa, this is like a subway ride. I, yeah. It rocks. <laughs> Jesus Oh, Christ. my God. That's a lot of eye contact, too. Yeah. I yeah. saw him on the six train. <laughs> this guy's kind of oh, like girl. Oh, oh God. What did he just do? Shit himself. Oh. oh right crazy. in front of the kiddo. Oh, I, can I be honest? I just, I threw up a little in my mouth. I'm not going to joke. Oh, for the show. Oh, oh my God. We might be grade. drunk. We definitely might be sick in a second. Yeah. You think we might you be feel spunk. shame afterwards? Don't try to change the subject from what we just watched, Sam. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. No, I think, you think the monkey feels shame? Not at all. No. I don't think he realizes what he did. He's no. eating it in front of he's a eating live it. audience. Yeah, shame. Yeah, maybe while he's eating, he's like, "I'm a piece of shit." Uh, <laughs> That's funny to think about if they have uh, deep feelings like that. But wow, I don't wow. think animals can truly uh, feel like we. I mean, dogs, right? Like that dog knows what you said about it earlier. But pretty yeah. nice though. I mean, they, he could have gotten an OnlyFans. It's rough. Is that a dog free. pun? <laughs> Too many jokes flying around here. I can't let that one just slide by. <laughs> Man, monkey, monkey jerk. Who knew? Lobster tube and monkey jerk. Well, if you guys are around uh, in November, uh, I'd love you to come by the Beacon. Come sure. fart around, yeah, fart around the Phil show. I thought you were doing the Gramercy. Uh, uh, my friend Adam Ray is doing the Gramercy on oh, August 11th. I see. When does this come out? Good question. August 25th. Oh, great. Well, that's uh. fucking way past the due date, huh? <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. Uh, yeah, Sorry. August 11th. I think he had a great time. I Sold heard it out. killer. Uh, went okay. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be if hey if that invite stands, we'll be there. If we're Beacon point? Theater, it, it does stand What's November fifteenth. Okay, we there usually we like go. to surprise the uh, guests, but let's just say a maybe or maybe not. Stacking up pretty nice. Throwing some hail marys. You got to do that. You guys probably know as part of the booking process. Now you got to go for it, right? Oh, booking dot yeah. com. Booking dot. You know, <laughs> got to go for coming, it. Our, to where? To your show. Go oh. bring a bear. <laughs> I mean, now that's actually funny. That's actually something I should try to pull off. Oh. Bring them out and then bring somebody dressed as a bear, a whole family of bear cubs. 
That's funny. Good. That's funny. All right. We got something here. Because the Phil Show's starting to turn a little variety. I mean, it's all, you know, oh, rooted right. in, in comic uh you know, fun and, and games with the interviews. We got one in September at the Comedy Store with uh, uh, Gabriel Glacius, Patton Oswald, and Jay Farrow. Nice. Fun and, then, group. Um, and then good old Rob Lowe is going to come by in October. Wow. Trying to stack that up with another hot hung from the 90s. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who we go with. You Kirk got Cameron, to, dude. Kirk Cameron, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. You know what, though? I would love. We like to keep the show light, Sam, but part of me would Cameron like to. Kirk Cameron and Mateo Lane. That's my, <laughs> my suggestion. <laughs> we'll keep her right here. That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. That's a great idea. That is good. Yeah, there's certain uh, there's certain combos of people that you dream about. You know, Matt, who would be uh, who would be someone? Obviously, I'd love to get like Tom Hanks or oh, uh, Martha Stewart would be fun. Somebody that's game. Like you guys are great because you're you're down to play. You don't want somebody that comes on and is just a lays a fucking dud. You Maybe know, Trump. How about AC Slater? <sighs> hey, Mario Lopez oh. could be fun. If we can talk about his infidelities, right? Mm -hmm. Yikes. I'd be like, yo, extra. did he extra. fuck around a lot? I don't know if a lot is the word I'd say, but let's just say uh, uh, Kelly Kapowski. It didn't stop with Kelly Kapowski. Oh, <laughs> Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Tiffany Amber Thiessen, which uh, I think she Adam Ray and Brad Williams actually had her on their podcast. They went to her house. She had an avocado tree. Whoa. She had a couple avocados in that shirt. <laughs> She looked fucking good, I'll tell you that much. Mario, here he is on LinkedIn. He looks pretty this? good still. Eight does not age, this no, guy. And he's in my fucking hotel every day. Do you know he wakes me up? Not physically, I wish, you know, fucking careful what you wish for. I wish, yep. but but he comes on, you know, be like three in the morning. My TV will just pop on Saw style, Sam. Yep. And he'll just go like, a mysterious young girl, Angelina Jolie, stars in this psychological thrill. I'm like, wow. fucking let me sleep, bitch. Now I got to jack off. That was a great Slater. <laughs> By the way, it's, it's, it's okay. Here, this AC Slater run, Fergie in 1984. But let's go through the Lopez casualty. Hell Here we yeah. go. He smashed a lot of poon. Tiffany Amber Thiessen, 91 to 93. They dated for two years? So they did date. I thought it was Probably just wow. on the show. Wow. Fer well, Fergie's impressive. Am I seeing Jamie Presley up there, too? I Jamie love Presley, Jamie Presley. She's, she's smoking. She's gorgeous. She's sweet. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. He had a menage a trois with Morgan Freeman. Wait, let me, and Tim Robbins. Wait, it's both. one of the few impressions I do. Ready? I'll give it to you. I wish I could tell you Mario Lopez's cock didn't taste <laughs> delicious, but it did. It did. And I used my Visa Rewards card to buy the butt plugs that... All right, that's it. But uh, wait, right. I, this is just a hail mary here. But we, would you be able to do uh, Mario Lopez fucking you as Robert Downey <laughs> Jr.? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me. Okay. So here's. Uh, I'll play the scene out. So it's Robert Downey Jr. Uh, calling Mario Lopez for uh, to see if he'll come over and uh, and have a little uh, a fuck fuck around. Yeah. Do the black Robert Downey. <laughs> oh, we'll be right black. Uh, no, we'll keep it right here. Uh, all right, here it is. So. Um, <laughs> Hello, Mario Lopez. Uh, hey, Mario. So this is uh, Robert Downey Jr. So, of course, you wow. recognize me from Heart and Souls, Tropic Thunder, uh, of course, Iron Man, Iron Man 2. I'm looking to take my Iron Man and bring him over to your house and put him inside your uh, Saved by the Bell uh, butt cheeks. Um, I'm sorry. I should have rehearsed this, but I would like to rehearse a menage a trois or menage a uh, trois with you and your girl or your family. I don't know if you have a giraffe. Uh, I just watched this documentary with RFK where he put a giraffe in the woods and then tried to get it to second deck. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Bad, I didn't know you did a downy. I did, I did, you know, everyone's got a little downs inside of them, but uh, I usually, I, my the only downy I used to do was the downy, the uh, the fluffy, the the, ba the laundry bear. Oh. And then I, people said it wasn't topical, so I had to do an actor. But Lopez seems like, oh, is Britney Spears on that list? Wow. 2008. Get the fuck out of here. He man. really kept leveling up. Each one gets better and better. Because the first one, it's like a pumpkin and a kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, I think that's his family. But the, oh, then there's a, uh, that's fine. We'll he keep this in. Yeah. Kid, he didn't fuck oh, a okay. pumpkin, not with that attitude. Right. There is, but a pumpkin, you know, look, Biggs fucked a pie. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, and Lopez fucked a pumpkin. And JD Vance fucked a couch. And Charlie Brown fucked his mom. Whoa. We'll be right back. We'll keep her right here. <laughs> I, was, I thought pumpkin and I immediately went to Charlie Brown. I got ADD. Is but that why she sounds like that? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. Railed in the mouth. Uh, that might be my favorite. That's, that's tonight's Doritos joke of the night. Brought to you by Cool Ranch Doritos. Woo, give me a good Dorito graphic on yeah, that. Yeah, you got to throw it up. Yeah. I'm surprised you guys don't have a chip sponsor yet. Oh. What, you guys what, seem what like solid chip guys. I mean, I'm a Dorito The movie fanatic. and the snack. Really? I love Dorito. Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch cheese. all day long, right? Okay, how about this? Uh, favorite, uh, if you are you get off stage, right, early show Thursday, so you're not stuffing your face like fucking Miss Piggy at like 1030. You know, it's late show. The club goes, or the theater, sorry. Yep. A couple of specials over here. And, uh. They give you a big bag of whatever you want, Sam. What are you asking for? 
bag of chips. Yeah, what? What? what you going, taking it home and you go? I might just fucking. I'm going like kettle chip, salt and vinegar. Oh, not a bad end. call. You know, what my number one is Ruffles all dressed. All dressed. That Canadian this? shit. What's that? Hold like a up. graveyard? Like all the sodas? <laughs> so good. A graveyard. Grave, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, Graveyard, God, all the sodas it. in one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What we call it a suicide. Ruffles suicide. all dressed. Canadians fucking nailed So like a ketchup it. ruffle? Oh, it's Don't cancel that. me. I like the... Yeah, there it is. It's that one. I've never heard of the all dress. Oh, if you're in Canada, you got to fucking get that shit. Well, don't tell me how to live my life, Sam, but I'll probably, probably try it out. Everything bagel, chip. Okay, that looks fun. Yeah, so you got every flavor in. Wow, that's a condiment. That's it's too much. No, but it's perfect. All right, I'll try it. All right, I'll try it. I mean, what, we, what, it'd be great going? if you had a bag because your pitch is pretty. You're coming in hot. Yeah. You're coming in. You're coming in. A, what are you going? I'm probably going. You know, I'm a basic bitch with the sun chips. Ah, uh, you sun homo. Chips. Yeah, I know. Like I know, but I own it. Bitch. I own it. I listen to Clay Aiken while I eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Drink five if you're playing the Clay Aiken drinking game. Clay Aiken, uh, former sponsor of Sun Chips. Oh, what? yeah. No, but you guys are gullible as fuck. <laughs> also, uh, Kirk Cameron's ex. Kirk Cameron's ex. Uh, $50? Kirk, yeah, that seems... Un- wow. <laughs> this, is, the hell? this is the same side Sam buys his crackling over. <laughs> 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 well, I knew we'd get back there. I thought I was going to let you off with one crackling <laughs> fucking bit. All right, so we've here. we've got... Uh, We've got, uh, let's exactly. see, Sun Chips. I've also, Black beans? Oh, what that's a fucking oh, bad flavor. They're reaching. Oh. That's like Pop-Tart being like, we've got pillowcase. Yeah, you got to <laughs> deport that. Yeah, deport. Oh. Send it right back. That's, Black beans. Black beans. That's rare, that's rare and, uh, and inappropriate. I'm more of a pinto bean potato chip guy. Yeah. I'd take pinto over black. Like uh, a kidney. Now, uh, what about, is Mark, you said Doritos. I also, we're forgetting a chip. We're forgetting a fun guy. Zaps. You're a fucking Nola boy. That's what I love said. a zap. Yeah. Is a zap like a Funyun? No, no. Pull voodoo? up zaps. You want voodoo, voodoo, crawdad. Yeah, these are mesquite. This is your like Louisiana shit. They're That's good. good they shit. are okay, good. okay. Crunchy as shit. They got crazy flavors and they, they burn. I I also I mean you can't go wrong with like a sour cream and onion. Come on, those oh, all classic. day long. Yeah, Lay's right. Yeah, uh, I like I, I like the crunchier ones, but Lay's are good. I don't, the Ketchup lays. The Canadians fucking crush with that. Oh food. yeah. Now riddle me this: you go to a barbecue, they run out of snacks, and and they promised you. Let's say you go over, and the person who lured you into the fucking social gathering in the first place has now fibbed about the snack organization, and you get there, and it's late in the BBQ. Twister upstairs is already complete. Sure. There's a sex chair somewhere. You got to find it. And all of a sudden, you know that an Irish goodbye is in your future. Mm-hmm. I love an Irish goodbye, though. Oh, I can't get enough of an Irish goodbye. It's the best. Uh, how do you do it? Are pieces of shit. Which way do you uh, say who? Especially when your friends are pieces of shit. Oh, sure, yeah. You go, I got to take a wee-wee, you, you plop out the back door, or you uh, do the fake phone call. That might be the best, because no one's going to stop it, especially yeah. if you're distraught. Ready? Try to stop this guy. Uh, first of all, tell me that the, you're out of sun chips, Sam. <laughs> oh, fuck, we're out of black bean sun chips. Oh! Uh- Fuck! <laughs> Shit, I got a call real quick. Oh, who's calling? Huh? <laughs> sorry. Uh-oh. I had a witch pussy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> witch pussy. Where do I go? <laughs> well, tell me the address, Corinne. <laughs> I just don't want to say more. Sorry, sorry, uh, Phil. Oh. <laughs> well, I... Yeah, I can drive, but I've been drinking a little... <laughs> Oh no! This is a crazy push. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mark, Mark, please. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's my friend Mark. Seems sounds. Yeah, scary. yeah, the gay guy. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't matter right now. I just wanted. To... Well, don't yell at me. Woo. I'm not the one who did it. What happened to this vagina? <laughs> I don't want your life. <laughs> You're the man now, dog. <laughs> well, then fine. Go marry Kirk Cameron. Oh, this is like a medley. Well, I'm the captain now. And then you bounce out. No, no, wait, Dr. Phil, we just found some uh, garden salsa sun chips. Yeah. You got to stick around. Uh, I want a divorce. Yeah. And I'm back. Yeah, we'll back. be right back. We'll keep it right here. Holy hell. We got the beacon. We got the beacon. We got uh, the forum soon. Uh, no, well, who knows? We'll, we'll keep on, Jim. We got. We are right. announcing. We have announced uh, as of today. We got uh, October 25th, the Miller and Philly, about uh, 85 sold out. That's an awesome uh, great It's room. a great. I can't wait for that. Then we got Tyson's Virginia, Capital One Hall in D.C. That's about great sold room. out. Beacon wow. November 15th in New York. Uh, that's about 50% sold out. Wow. And then we got Celebrity Theater uh, just, just came out a, a few weeks ago, uh, December 6th in AZ. And then the Civic Center in San Diego, December 7th. Holy. And then in 
2025, we'll be adding uh, Majestic in Dallas oh, and uh, that's MSG in ones. Boston. You love that one, yeah. yeah. And then uh, we'll be adding uh, Chicago Theater in Chicago, and uh, oh. the hits will keep on coming. And hopefully, you'll see these uh, pieces of shit rocking and rolling. And of course, go check out my favorite Jew, AdamRayComedy.com. I think he's got dates in Pittsburgh and, and a new uh, special on YouTube. Special like and subscribe Whoa. on YouTube. His podcast about last night. He's got uh, uh, some uh, some some other fun stuff coming up, and then um, of course Instagram, TikTok, Adam Ray comedy and and uh and appreciate you guys appreciate yeah. the love yeah adam ray let me take a shot of bodega cat hell yeah what a yeah. way to top what a way to off. close this night out wait, make sure uh, rfk is watching oh wait, that's a sealed one is there an open one somewhere no maybe not maybe i gotta un- uh open this puppy oh also check out uh uh right up front in the uh right behind you is that sealed yeah damn all right how about just a Diet Dr. Pepper? You got All that? All right. This is good pop. Here we go. There's one shot left. Oh, it's a Southwest Sea Group of shots. Hell yeah. The, the, the little black backwash. Bean chip. The black bean chip. You got it. Uh, I'm going to take this uh, pull straight from the bottle. I'm going to make a little cheers. Drinking might not solve all our problems, but it's worth a shot. Woo-wee! We'll I'm be right back. Baldwin said the same thing. Oh, too soon, but you know what? Too late, actually. Yeah, sorry, ma'am. I love you guys. Yeah, Rust. Oh, yeah. Wow! Mm. Oh wait, we're still on. Yeah, yeah right. we're still going. Right. Follow us on so Punch impressed. Up. Are you on Punch Up? Oh, that's uh, yeah. Uh, Danny came to my shows at the Punchline. Hey. Uh, uh, Adam shows. I'm. So, well, that's good fucking bourbon. Punch Up dot live slash Adam Ray. Punch Up dot live slash Mark Norman. Punch Up dot live slash Samuel. Go there. Give us your emails. That's all it takes. Chris Brown's on Punch Up. And there's a. Oh, you're, you guys are too quick for your own good. But that's why I like being here. I think we had a good. Uh, this is a great. good roll. This was a nice. We should great. run this back. Uh, 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 what was I going to say? Uh, 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 new Dr. Phil Live is also, they're all on the YouTube channel, Adam Ray. Uh, killer. Check them all. There's a new one from Seattle with Joel McHale and Sean Kemp dropping. Jesus. Whoa, uh, Sean Kemp's your guy. So Sean Kemp's uh, me and Adam's guy. And uh, I'll tell Adam told me a quick story I want to tell you. So Sean Kemp has a weed store in Seattle. You, you ever go, I'll hook you up, go down and burn one down with him. And, uh, yes, Kemp. and Kemp came out to do the show. We also had the voice of the Mariners, uh, Adam Ray's brother in law, Dirte, white rapper Dirte, closed the show out. Had the Seattle fish market fish guys throw Whoa. fish into the crowd i love the pike's place baby Whoa. brought him down hit him up said how much it cost you to come down and throw fish uh, f- uh f- for fish fresh fish a fresh fish and uh, had a stroke and so they uh McConnell. they said we'll we'll, we'll try <laughs> well, they said we'll charge you this much but uh, how about this much because we like the show came down did a, a seattle trivia with joel McHale. this show will be out i think uh, august what's uh, uh what's uh, what's a th- uh, week from this thursday matt what is that Okay, thanks a lot, Matt. I think there's something about 15th. the 15th. August 15th, uh, Dr. Phil Life from Seattle will be out. And uh, with Joel McHale, Kemp comes over. We do Name That Dunk with him where we put up pictures of dunks. We show him all his pictures. He stood up like a kid in a candy store and was reliving. It was fucking beautiful. And wow. at one point, we showed him uh, with him sitting on Robin's uh, shoulders in Whoa. the 96 finals. I go, what's that called? He goes, these nuts. Oh. Drop the mic. Place went fucking nuts. Wow. But Seattle Trivia with Joel, we asked a question. It was always a uh, fake submitted questions by kids like, who would win in a fight? Chris Pratt, my dad, Jay Buhner, you know, and then uh, and then Joel would go, obviously, you know, uh, uh, Jay Buhner, you know, and then we go, who wants a fish? Lights on. Turn on some 80s music. These guys toss these 15 fucking pound salmons into the crowd. Wow. I've never seen so much. You want to think a t-shirt cannon guy, you know, says his own name when he comes. These fish guys were throwing these motherfuckers and it was pandemonium. Price is right means Oprah audience. I'm fucking wow. telling you. You get a fish. You get a fish. You get a fish. You get a fish. And then the next day, uh, Adam went down with camp. He goes, come down and smoke with me at the shop oh they walked around downtown seattle sam smoked jays talked seattle he told them nirvana stories told him nba stories they went oh. to lunch and now they're going to do a fucking because the songs are coming back in the in the very soon they're going to announce it very are they soon. really the vegas is get the seattle super Sonics. oh so it's gonna be vegas and <laughs> vegas funny but that also hey let's not sleep on that fast Love it. you ever see the video of the kids spilling all the shit on roller skates pull, the Sonic? pull it up man it's it, a good thing to close on vegas and seattle and seattle so so, kemp, so it is sure. and kemp goes we're going to do a live podcast with uh with adam uh uh, GP and, and Rain Man w- uh, during the preseason game at Kemp's Weed Store. Mm. Uh, maybe just come out and smoke and hang. Hell Kemp, yeah. Kemp uh, uh, man, some banana stories. He was telling uh, Adam these stories about Nirvana, right? I go, who was like the 
I said, Adam, ask this question. I go, ask who was like the cool Jack Nicholson people at Seattle. And he said, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Griffey, all those guys from the 90s. Nirvana would hit them up last minute, him and GP, and go, come down to this place. We're playing a secret show. They'd come down, last minute sold. He goes, they were just potheads playing music, man. He goes, I didn't see the heroin until late in the game. And Rain Man was like, then all of a sudden, like, you know, towards the end, he'd come through and they'd be like going to a club and and Kurt be sitting there on the couch just fucking laid out. And then they'd come back 12 hours later, same spot, didn't move. Wow. Almost like in a sugar coma, but, you know, the other yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Camp told some great NBA stories. Uh, charismatic. If he's ever rolling through here, I'll fucking, I'll put him oh, in yeah, touch. We're fans. He'd rip it up with you guys. He's Woo! a fucking legend, the Rain Man. Yeah, the Rain Man. Seattle deserves a basketball team. That's they do. Great, They'll be great, back. Great basketball state, Washington. They, oh, yeah. They, nobody yeah. Uh, nobody reps Seattle harder than this fucking single mom Jew. But <laughs> And music, too. I love that Adam gets to kick it with. Pretty cool. As a 90s Knicks guy. I, I know. Get, I get what it means. Oh, he told me Anthony Mason's stories he told me about yeah he he was a it's special it's also you know you want to be one of those guys that says oh thing you know i know it's all generational you know everyone has the snl cast that they've you know grew up with but 90s hoops i mean it's just a different game now oh yeah 90s everything 90s 90s music basketball baseball movies movies, but but hoops truly like show me anyone close to charles oakley right now Mm. i'll wait good glasses Rick Glassman? Yeah, I got, maybe. I got to meet him. I got to meet Charles Oakley. We shot a commercial together and he, Holy he was for a, his dealership? No, it was for it was like a, a weird bleacher report thing that yep. they never aired because it was mm. like it was weird. Yeah. But I got of course paid. it was. You got paid, but yeah. I got paid, but it was a uh I spent a whole day with Charles Oakley. Hell yeah. And he was cool as fuck and he I, and all you want is to tell him how much they mean to you as yep. a kid and he was he wasn't weird about it. Like I was like, hey man, you guys are the reason I love basketball. And he's like, that means a lot. And he was cool as fuck. And yep. that's all you want. Yeah, you yeah. want that. You want, uh, uh, yeah, That that's the the getting, the, the they hear that you appreciate what they do, you know. Uh, my boy Adam was just telling me he was walking around New York and uh, he had a couple people stop him and, and say uh, they loved his Joe Biden. And it's the same thing where you have to go like, you know, I told him, I go, you just got to act appreciative of it because it means more to them. You know, you don't, we all get caught up in this business. Yeah. You go, I don't fucking, you know, it's just, I'm just doing what I do. But yeah. people, Oakley, he was a stud for you, right? Yeah. Who's your stud, Mark? Who's the guy that? Uh, I like uh, uh, Ray Rice. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Mark's, Mark's because of his in, policies or what? Yeah, Michael. Mark's Vick. getting in, Mark's getting into basketball. I'm getting him into basketball. So that's the one. You're not a huge sports guy in general, right? Nah, well, I like table UFC. Tennis. I like table tennis. I like uh, skateboarding. I, I like the weird. But we went to right, Knicks games and you were in. The it. Knicks games were awesome. Well, live is where it's at. Yeah, that's Raccoon. why I always said that I won't see bare naked ladies on <laughs> YouTube live. Mark, <laughs> wow. that's it's an aphrodisiac. I got. Have you seen uh, Ape Come? They're uh, they're a great ska band. I believed you. Is that a real band name? No, no. 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 Wait, this is but a fun game. Fake cool. band names. Ready? Um, rape fart. <laughs> okay, we should probably end the end the show. How about Queef Baby? Uh, Queef How about baby. Super Dad? There you go. That's not bad. That's clean. That, That's that PC. Works. Yeah. How about Kirk Cameron's uh, Apology? It's a great band name. <laughs> How about Bloody Jizz? Okay. They're okay. playing Closer. The center. They're play- they have to. Yeah, boy, can I Four look worse in that photo? Jeez, no, that's a good Christ. shot. I look like a, I've been burned. I took that. Thanks. Hey, you uh, look like you're, uh, wait, pull that up real quick. You look like you're looking back at the subway, right? Well, I see the mic now, but maybe you're, yeah. This is you in about 30 years. You still look this frail. Yeah. And you're looking back and you're holding the mic when you take the subway. And everyone's <laughs> like, boy, this guy just can't let people not know that he's a comedian. Yeah. You, you bring the mic guy. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. The guy in the Facebook profile is like, Oh man, that's tough. The fa- yeah, it's by the way, both our pictures are the mic. But what are you gonna do? You have to do Comedians. it though. Because yeah, guess what? Comedian. For all the pe- oh oh, I'm sorry. Everyone in the world fucking knows who you are. You got to have this up so that when people do stumble upon right. it, they go, "What's this guy up to? Is He's he got a mic? Right? Is that RFK's a uh, you know bear hurdler <laughs> <laughs> or huddler? However you say it. Well, yes. Yeah, punch up. Check us, us on the out. Road, new special on Prime. That's uh, right. You're fantastic, by the way. Oh, thank you. Watched a great thank job, you, dude. Duh, though. <laughs> Duh, uh, no shit. Yeah, we're all over. Mark, where are you going to be, man? I'm all over the road, baby. New Jersey, Reading, PA, Guadalajara, and Mexico City, uh, Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, St. Louis, Atlanta, Vancouver, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Portland, Oregon. London, Ontario, Toronto, to name a few. Monterey, Monterey, that'll be fun. Yeah, Oakland, Winnipeg, 
Yeah, peg yeah, peg's me. Fun, yeah. I gotta get up to Canada. Is that a foot? I keep getting hit up for oh, Canadian. Uh, I mean, the good the good cities are good. It's like America. There's this good cities are good cities, and even the bad ones you're kind of gonna have. Come fun. on, I know, right? Yeah. You guys strike me as a couple of fellas that can just rip it up anywhere. I'm speaking, that, of, rip, speaking of ripping it up, change your pants, we're, table for one. We're, we're, where could you not have fun? <laughs> oh no, myself, where right. could you <laughs> not have fun for a fucking night, dude? I knew that was. <laughs> yeah. By the way, there was uh, every. It took every ounce of my body not to fucking open my mouth and lean down there, <laughs> just to just to taste some crackling oat bread. <laughs> Can you hear me, Sam? Your cereal tastes like fucking farts. <laughs> You fucking weirdo. Like new dude. Brunswick, New Jersey. I'm building back up. New shit, guys. Uh, new Stress better. Factory, the 22nd and the 24th. Niagara Falls, Ontario, Thank September you. 13th. I'm with Chris. <laughs> Was that the soundtrack to the Barbie movie? <laughs> and then we got... Uh, and then we got... I'm I actually, got a Euro I actually tour. love that film. I got London, <laughs> Belfast, Dublin, Paris, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Oslo, Stockholm... Uh, and then I'm back in the States. Got Cleveland. There we uh, go. Hilarity is going to try to build back up here in November. Uh, yeah. Punchup.live slash uh, any of our names. Adam Ray will be Hilarities in October. That's a great club. Great you get the bro. bat. One of my favorites. He did it for the first time last year. Uh, got that bat from Top Nick. Top Notch Club. That's Nick. Right. Nick, Sam, we Nick, love we you. love you guys. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, one of the best. And I love you guys, and I appreciate the love today. Praise Allah. Uh, okay. Praise Allah. Praise uh, Oprah. Get the book, Get folks. the book. We've got issues. It's out there. It's the one thing I can do. Oh, and uh, I think that's it. Good night, everybody. I'll see you all in hell. <laughs>